Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Growth. Uh, we have myself, we have Negus, Only Mac, That Man, Trip, and Win Easy. Uh, hopefully some other members come through, but today this is episode three of the Growth Podcast. Uh, we got some great topics to talk about. Um, so let's see, the first topic for today, I actually have that up. I didn't know I was going to be hosting, but you know, prepare. That's all good. <laughs> no, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to be prepared. Uh, let's see, first, so the first topic we've got today is... First of all, before we get into that, how y'all doing? How's everybody? <sighs> Feeling good, man. Uh, I'm enjoying all of your uh, Elden Ring pain. You know, for everybody out there that's playing it, I'm I'm, really, I'm very much enjoying <laughs> yes. it. Yes. So hope y'all yes. are having a grand yes. old time because I know I am. Dog, that Absolutely. game is insane. Like, it, no, it, honestly, it is insane. It's insane. Very, like, bro, it's very crazy. I was, like I showed you guys earlier, but like the clip of like the freaking dragon that like first of all a dragon with like six <laughs> wings or whatever, then like yes. out of nowhere. Yes, he gets a lightning, calls down lightning, and then yeah. gets a lightning sword. Yes. Nigga, yeah. I was about to say, yo, he really was like, yo, where you from? Cut this is my block. What you doing out here, homie? Yo, he summoned the lightning <laughs> like he he was g checking everybody. He's like, yo, where your grandmama stay at, bro? Uh, Tarnish, where you at, bro? Like, I don't, I, I don't want to deal with that. So I'm just, I'm, I'm here comfortable on the sidelines watching all that foolishness. <laughs> yeah, I was God. just telling them like I was literally before my work meeting. I was playing. Uh, I was fighting one knight, and he was just a regular ass knight with a sword and shield. And then halfway through the fight, he grows wings and a tail. And now I gotta fucking fight that shit, and I gotta figure out how to dodge all that. It's I um, it's like a game of discovery. But every time you find something, you kind of hate it. You're like, whoa, why, bro? Like fucking why? <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling. I'm still at the beginning, bro. I haven't. I'm fighting Gorick, and I can't. I'm I'm struggling, man. I haven't even fought Margaret. I know people said yeah. you gotta go back and uh you gotta go back and really just like level up and shit right that. I'm only like level twenty three right now, so I got a lot of do I got a lot of leveling to do, honestly. Yeah, yeah I'm not trying to play that game for real. Like I get, <laughs> that seems like a game that like you're like you lose yourself in. Oh yeah. And I'm just like I'm I'm not with it. Like Yeah. But yeah. I would never but play yeah. it on stream. I'll say that. I'll I will never I would play, play it on stream, stream if I did. I but like that's the type of game yeah. I would like buy like if I had I wanna get a couch behind me. And that's the type of game I get, like, you know, throw up on my, like, my whole Sunday, Saturday, yeah. playing, yeah. like, off stream, yeah. chill, and stuff like that. So. Get mad get mad in the privacy of your own home, you know? <laughs> not be so, not be somebody else's content, you know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I can't, but I yeah. can't be caught in a yeah. stoplight like that, bro. I'm not Facts. gonna lie. <laughs> See, Seafood already Honestly. got me mad. Yeah, like, a few people already saw how mad Seafood got me. Elder Ring is, that's a different beast, bro. I feel like that's why I want to play that, especially on stream, Seafood. bro. Dead ass be true, yes. like like not to get off topic, but Sifu be no, cheating. I don't care. Like <laughs> I, like that game dead ass be treating. Like you go a different route, it get it like they be like, oh yeah, yeah, let's let's send two of the dudes that can like when well, you try Bro. to do a takedown on them, and like now they just Facts. like get back with a full health bar. And I'm just instant, like, oh. instant parry into the Zenkai what? boost. Nah. Facts. Bro. Nah, I'm gonna start equipping like, people with sensu beans. Those pieces of oh crap. Well, oh, actually, God. I wanted to ask you guys like how in general like you know the content like how has the content been for you guys lately? Hmm. Uh, I would say for me, I, it's been, I, oh, go, go ahead, Charles. Go ahead, Charles. Ask you guy. No, I'll say honestly for me, I've been in like not a I wouldn't say a drought, right? So I'm still on the what the hell do I do with my YouTube? I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do, um, and how I implement it. But like I know it's just like I got to like throw things at the wall till they stick. But it's just getting there, and then it's like I got to learn how to do thumbnails. I got to learn how to like you know edit vids a little bit not i'm not saying i gotta put like all this production into it but it's just the thought of having to do all those things like like damn this got me down bad a little bit so welcome hey, to I know I, <laughs> yeah, bro bro <laughs> to the idea, bro, son. like in my twitter bio i had streamer just streamer i didn't have content creator <laughs> yeah i know bro <laughs> and then i put content creator in there so i was like oof, we gonna see but that yeah i mean September. But no, but like it's it's leaving me hopeful. Like there's gonna there's more things to come. Like for me, so like it's exciting, but it's almost daunting at the same time. So that's how it is. That's how it's been for me. Anybody else? Nah, I oh. I, I feel you. I feel that though, Charles. Like when you first get into it, that feeling like okay, what the fuck do I do? It's like everything and yeah. shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like you like you look you staring at the ocean. It's just you want you one person. It's like yo, what what where do we even go at this point? You know what I'm saying? So I, I understand that. Oh yeah, yeah. Mac, you was about to say something? Yeah, as for me right now, I'm kind of understanding, like, I got, like, many avenues I can take, mm -hmm. and I'm taking advantage of that. Yeah. 
that go along with making bridges and you know building them very healthy on the way on for it so as far as content wise i'm gonna just keep on doing having ideas flow out youtube i'm gonna have to pause youtube for a little bit just because i am on a back burner with a lot of things i got going on yeah. but it's gonna be a pause that's gonna be worth it you know what i mean yeah actually i so like i have a suggestion for like people this is just out out there right i would tell people like especially with like if you're starting with youtube and content creation now especially with streaming i feel like streaming is almost like doing it backwards unless you're using your streams to like actually get your content out there yeah. so like if you're taking something from your streams and throwing it back out there that's fine or you turn your streams into an experience so like say for instance like you know how kdot does his mugen mondays and like you know yeah. podcasts and different things like that how you guys you know everybody in here i think besides Charles has some type of a podcast like if you can like use that to repurpose to like your content i feel like that's one of the biggest things about it like i say to like people like yeah i might be a one-dimensional like you know content creator when it comes to like i i talk about splatoon but there's so many facets of my content that i can do because of the fact that i play splatoon so like say for instance like looking at like today tiktok is one of the biggest things for me right now um this week has been like crazy for tiktok because i have i have gameplay like i i have yeah. like you know like yeah. just playing games and stuff like that so i just throw that up there and i get engagement and what that does for me is it throws it back into my twitch streams and like i have people ask all the time on like what's it called they're like yo where do you stream and they're like yo i've seen you on tiktok so like it's more of getting your exposure all over the place because you yeah. never know where it's going to work because for some reason people hate my splatoon content on twitter like when not when it comes to like me like talking about it or like like engaging conversations but when it comes to like clips it goes yeah. nowhere but when mm -hmm. i put it on tiktok all the love in the world so i just wanted to throw that out for today but we we could probably hit on the yeah. topics if you want to us. yeah no doubt uh when trip you guys want to answer that uh I can I can stop real quick and say I for me I feel like I'm I'm starting to I guess find a little bit of consistency which is again one of the big goals that I've had you know this year right. I was trying to find a format and that roadmap so of course well with all the different content that we do throughout the week whether it be you know you know games we're playing or we kind of talk about stuff on no cooldown me and when uh, right. you know finding cool things to kind of offshoot from that and also you know you know put it in its own right and kind of make. I guess more streamlined processes when it comes to that stuff. So, okay, listen, I have different places I can pull from. Okay, I have some ideas here listed on this thing. I have something I'm playing today. I can talk about some stuff that no cooldown. I feel like if it, you know, if it has enough buzz around it in terms of the week, I'll drop it into its own separate video. It's all right to see if, you know, people are interested in, in, in that. So I feel like I'm starting to find some footing when it comes to different sources and streams of content to keep everything rolling, keep the ball rolling, such like that. I just got to, you know, get back on posting everywhere again cuz I, I kind of slacked on that. I've 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 been really good yeah. about my YouTube schedule and like I guess for like a good I probably say since February, since the start of February, I've been posting every day on YouTube whether it be a short or an actual video, but now it's starting to translate that back to other platforms and such. So, got some got some lanes to catch up, but we're starting to find some footing, which I I I appreciate. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, with me, it's just starting back up, getting back, getting my YouTube back up is because I took a break to job search. Now I don't need that much time to job search anymore. So I'm trying to just get, get the ball rolling. Thank you. Thank you. Get the ball back rolling on that and on just socials, like putting stuff up on TikTok and yeah, you know, letting that, letting it go double, double cardboard for a while. But you know, at least, at least I said I posted the, the TikTok because you never, you really right. never know the TikToks oh, yeah. that I think don't do anything, uh, get me really fucking popular in communities that hate me so it's, it's it's awesome it's really fun facts uh you know speaking of like communities that hate um <laughs> there's there's certain communities that you know that that hate like taking showers that hate washing mm. up um mm. and also communities that hate taking vaccines mm. so uh we all know that twitchcon is coming up um and you know they have specific mandates uh that they have um will you guys be going to twitchcon I would love to, but it really depends on if like you guys goes for real. Mm. Okay, so yeah. let me just let me just read the uh, COVID nineteen protocol um, and what that's going to look like. Um, this is what they say via TwitchCon. Uh, we will be following local requirements and our judgment regarding the safety of the community, which could include requiring all attendees to be vaccinated. But look for updates on TwitchCon dot com as we get closer to the event. So how how, do, how does this look for everybody? 
Um, I'm just gonna point that out there. Uh, I'm cosplaying as Sailor Moon, and I don't remember a Sailor Moon COVID nineteen episode, so uh, it just wouldn't make sense. <laughs> what? Yo. Hey, hey, wait, yo, he oh, just wait. he just he just read half a Twitter right there. He's read half <laughs> of TwitchCon Twitter. But he called out the COVID plate. Be Goku though. Listen, listen, listen. COVID couldn't be. I'm about to say COVID probably got this thing. I'm not gonna lie. Goku couldn't even handle heart disease. All right. That's, that's, oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Yo, he's 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 immunocompromised, bro. He might, you know, what I'm saying he hey, might. Man. She might go left for him. I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, but with, yeah. With the with the actual statement, bro. The, my problem is, I need them to make a stance now. Don't be on the fence about this shit and be like, hey, listen, you know." Yeah, you know yeah. we could do it. We could not do it. I, you know, it could I don't be local. Think you guys realize why? I think it's because of by it's September, right? Mm. And if you haven't been paying attention outside, um, it's the fact outside. that we're uh, going full, uh, full on cap- yeah. capitalism mode, and shit is lifted. COVID's yeah. done. Shit is lifted. COVID's done. Like for real, for real. So like, I don't know of a venue. Like I don't know how it works. Like I don't like I don't know of a venue can require that unless it's like the airport. So like. If the city of LA says, yo, we are, are doing, or San Diego, right? Or yeah, California, better yet. Like, if they say we're not doing it anymore, can TwitchCon really be like, yo, like, you have to be vaccinated to come? So I don't, I don't know how that works. I mean, mm, I know I it's, did it's, have experience working for a bit in a situation like that. Um, it was a facility we ran and how it worked because the city didn't have like a vaccinated mandation, you know what I mean? So, but it was a mass mandate. And I think when it comes to cons and conventions and companies like that, because I know Blur, when BlurCon, for example, they went Vax only, right? Vax only to get in. So I'm pretty sure the state of DC didn't have like a Vax mandate, but it depends on the facility. If the facility right. requests to be Vax mandate or mass mandate, you know what I mean? Right. Because these yeah, are essentially are... private buildings. Mm-hmm. So like yeah, they can... buildings. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah and i know like in there was a, the new york uh comic-con there was a huge outbreak of covid amongst the um, attendees because somebody went with a, a fake vax card so it's like are like are we really going to they need to have like what the iodine checkers for the <laughs> <laughs> for the uh vax cards because it's like people that don't believe in vaccines and really love cons they're going to do whatever they can to get into the con and they're just jeopardizing people's lives. So it's like, what? It, how how much can we truly um, control this, or like just make sure that everyone's regu- like following the regulations? I don't think you can, because it's really not that hard to like forge a, a vax card. Like I'm looking at mine now. Like I was like, this is easy to like fake. You can do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why like, they were trying it's, to make it's the, quite easy. the QR codes. They started the QR codes up here, but. As I said, if the passports are like, you know, not forced anymore, like citywide, it's going to be hard to right. like actually stop people with like, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You got a lot because, you know, you got people who have, you know, religious backgrounds and things like that. Too. Right. So it's really going to be interesting to see how they play on that. You know what I mean? Trust me, I know. So. <laughs> Fact. Hey, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to leave yeah, it no, up no, and no, out no, there. No, right? no, yeah. no, 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 no. But what's it called? Uh, the... Yeah, it's just uh probably from a, I guess from a business side as well. I feel like they wouldn't want to like I guess you know price people out from that side, which is like damn, you know that sucks. But again, as a you know corporation trying to do their thing, they want to maximize the dollar. So it's like you know we don't want to price out everybody just yet to do their thing. So I can see why they're you know, they're wording it the way that they are, not you know putting out definitive details yet. You're right. That's true. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if we, uh, if I asked you guys or we got answers. Are you guys attending TwitchCon? I would like to personally. I, I would, would like to. Also I would. I would like to. On. I'm not gonna lie. San, like San Diego, I ain't been to California since I was a a baby, probably. So I would not have yeah. like, you know, I haven't been to Cali like at all. I guys got a good friend that's near there and stuff. Again, if y'all are down, growth out there will be a move. That's just me though. You know, what I'm saying? it would be dope. It would yes, be dope. Sir. If we could, we could probably map some things together. We'll see. We'll see. It depends on how my dream con trip go. Oh, my that word. Sense. Oh, uh, wait, is somebody going to dream con? You guys going to dream con? Yeah, we're going to dream con. Mm-hmm. Wait, we two, in trip? Yeah. Yes, we sir. Are going okay. To 
Yeah, I, I think, I think unless, tickets are sold out, so I'll yeah, have to I think, go on. I think March they go 4th. back on sale on March 4th, so there might still be hope. I'll look out for that, but it all depends on timing for me. No, yes. yeah, that's, yeah. Unless my financial situation like turns up between here and September, maybe, but we'll see. No, I'm not. I'm not. Don't hold your breath to see me at, at TwitchCon this year, at least. Right. No. Because the motels, mm-hmm. San Diego in general, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, facts though. Mm-hmm. Niggas about to overcharge you to live in a box for three days, bro. That's uh, crazy. <laughs> about to run, run a Winnebago. <laughs> facts, right. right I'm dead. Airbnb that box, boy. Looking like Squidward in an episode. Spare change. Spare change. Tr- 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 Airbnb. <laughs> I'm gonna go RV and V. RV and V is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Yo, for no real. No way you said R V and V. That'd be actually kind of cold though. Like you're in RV. Like, RV's getting kind of crazy now. I'm not gonna lie. Right. I seen him TikTok. Well, you know, speaking of like, side. right, right. You know, like speaking of spare change. Um, you know, you gotta pay to get to you know TwitchCon. Um, but you know, Twitch is trying to make it so that we can get some change for ourselves mm. in their Twitch ad incentive program. Um, so let's see. That's gonna be released to partners and affiliates. Um. Not quite sure when or if it has already been implemented. But so essentially what they want you to do is looks like from here, uh, once you just stream about 40 hours and it depends on your viewership, I believe. And 40 that, hours of what? <laughs> they a want month. you to stream 40 hours, 40 hours in a month. And then once you hit that uh, goal, then I guess based off of your viewership, they cut you a check based off of the ad revenue that's ad revenue that you would have made i believe um let me see if there's anything that's specifically describes how it works um let me see the fixed amount would be instead of variable ad revenue so that doesn't inherently mean that the fixed rate is higher it just takes out the guesswork so if a streamer doesn't meet the requirements it reverts back to the variable rate of prorated let's see the documentation lists both affiliates and partners but unsure if it will be widely offered, okay, that's a point in itself, or if it will be geographical constraints. Um, the last time they ran something similar back in November, ads manager bonus, it seemed limited to U.S. markets. So mm. essentially, in that, so you're not going to, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be guesswork. It was like what it sounds, then taking the guesswork out of it. So your ad rate times the 40 rate, the 40 hours of the month, um, it gives you what you would make in ad revenue and they just gonna cut you a check for that if you hit the threshold though that's the thing and they don't know if it's going to be for everybody i hope that if it it, okay so if it is like partners and affiliates like i really do hope that they um like show have a breakdown of like how many like viewers you have and like you know what you're actually going to hit because i feel like in the first month you're going to have people like being like yo i streamed like 86 hours and like I thought that the ad revenue would be so much of a of a better cut, but like right. they had 15 viewers, and it's like, Correct. yeah, you probably like. I hope it does have like you know a realistic view of like what you already have, and like looks at that. So right, or it can it can be bad. Highly doubt it. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I think I think 40 hours is a lot. Personally, it is. that shit is that's that's it is. basically a part time job. So I actually remember seeing it. And I ended up finding a tweet for that one. Uh, it was a person who averaged 130 viewers and they were they was blessed with you know a 27 cents um for one one minute ads every what 40 something hours or some shit like that and then if you run two ads you get 42 dollars and then three ads 59 dollars and that was a person who was averaging 130 views yeah that's that, yeah. that sounds pretty, yeah don't break your back to do this yeah that's yeah. pretty wild now you have I feel like for consistency reasons, this might be actually a kind of a positive where it's like, you know, at least it's another mode for people to actually have some type of, again, consistent, I guess, revenue stream in terms of this stuff. Because if you're doing this all on your own, dealing with the variability and the volatility of subs and, you know, donations and, you know, basically the will of people and viewers that are watching, it can be really, really stressful. Again, I feel like it was uh, Omega Pro, Omega Pro, he was talking about it. It was just like, you know, a lot of, stress coming under people of just kind of like relying on just that just just you know mm. subs or you know donations mm. or those modes or bits to really stay afloat 
having that consistency at least assuages that just a little bit. It mitigates that that stress just a little bit to have that. But right. to the level of where you know it, it results may vary depending on channel size and everything like that. If you know if you're like you know super like not mid sized, you're not you know averaging as many people as you know some of the higher up creators. You know what I'm saying like in terms of numbers and such. I feel like it's not too big of a you know I guess too big of a jump for us to be like yeah it's probably worth it. You know what I'm saying because forty hours. 40 hours on top of everything else that you already do. You know what I mean? I need, for yeah. me, I already work a nine to five plus that 40 hours doing that. Like that's overkill to probably get something that's again, opportunity cost wise, isn't worth it. You know what I'm saying? A little, like a little, like maybe, maybe like a like hundred, maybe 200 bucks over the whole month of me streaming 40 hours back to back. So I'm pulling 80 hours from everything that I'm doing plus other stuff. Right. It, it just, it's, for, for everybody else, you got to ca- calculate the opportunity cost. For some people, maybe worth it. For some people, people yeah. maybe not. But I do appreciate the consistency that it might help bring for some creators and putting less, I guess, less stress on their back to figure out how that income is, you know, pulling through from their streams and content. I don't, in all honesty, and I, and I <laughs> think that, like, Fair. Twitch needs to find a better way for their added, like, their ads on this, agree. like, platform. The reason Correct. why is because... It's unrealistic, like, in all honesty, like, I feel like you as a Twitch streamer, you're probably a little bit better off until you're hitting, like, you know, maybe the 500s, like, around there, to not even bother your community with ads. Like, I feel like for, especially with how, like, pre-rolls work, like, they're so invasive, and they're so, like, um, they're so, like, they can, like, stop people from going to channels, in my opinion. Like, 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 I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I a lot of, like people were like, yo, why don't you check out new streamers? And I'm like, I'm not sitting there waiting for like it sounds bad, but like a lot of times I'm not sitting there waiting for a 30 minute ad, 30 second ad to like go watch somebody new when I can just go to the person that I'm subscribed to and like start yeah. watching their content. If you guys are watching on PCs, I really need all of you guys to get ad blockers. Allegedly. Please. Allegedly. For your for allegedly. 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 Like hypothetically, and they work perfectly. And <laughs> hypothetically, I haven't gotten a single ad from anybody, hypothetically. But the problem uh, is Twitch, Twitch goes above and beyond to get it to work. They just needed like a some type of an actual incentive program, or like something that actually like works for right. streamers, in That's, my opinion. Yeah, if for I'm running one ad for three ads for fifty nine dollars, I ain't gonna lie, your chat gonna hate you. Facts, yeah, they will. Because like the thing is, it it's, it has to be viewer based, right? So mm-hmm. the the numbers that Matt gave for somebody that has a, a concurrent viewership, what'd you say, 130? 130. And that makes what, $59 or whatever? $59 said, for three ads. $59 for three ads. Hour. Bro, mm-hmm. my concurrent viewership right now, I average, I want to say 17.9 concurrent viewers. That is going to be like, what, 20 cent? It's not worth it for the small streamers at all. Right. And, it, and if anything, unless you're getting 500 plus subs, it's not going to be worth it. And then the only thing that's going to happen is your viewers are going to hate you because they're, they're, they're not going to be want to sit through 60 second ads of some bullshit. And then that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to sub to you in order to stop viewing those ads either. Mm-hmm. So it, if anything, it's just going to push people to other channels that I mm-hmm. feel like, but the only thing that the only people that benefit is, is Twitch. Because that means more ads are going to be running and the more money they're going to be making because people are going to feel like, hey, this incentive is going to get me paid more. It's not. It's, it, just, it just isn't. And that's the reality of it. But like, it looks nice. Working with your content. That's Because the, yeah. the way they ex- explained it, if you're not going to hit the goal, then you're not going to get it. You're just going to go back to the regular form anyway. And so, yeah. <laughs> to jump off the goal thing, um, <clears throat> 40 hours a month to put it into perspective, you would have to stream two hours Monday through Friday every day. So like yes. you'd have to like, let's say like trip is, so like you said, work on nine to five, you'd have to come home from work at five, stream till seven, and then every day for that month to get that, that incentive bonus. And that's if people are yes. sitting there like watching. It's, it's, to me, it's clear who this was made for. Um, yeah. And it's yeah. not, it is definitely not people in the low range not people in the mid range, like you gotta be top top for this to even really get you some money. Mm -hmm. Honestly, personally, you're better off, if you wanna make money off of ad revenue, you're better off looking somewhere else. Yeah, that's facts. That's that's actually yo, that shit. I I was I I feel like that speaks to also, yeah, I guess Negan speaks to a bigger problem, like that's how ads are displayed on Twitch. 
because they're very, very disruptive. So it's like just yeah. having that as a buzzkill in and of itself. You know what I mean? Like you watching someone. And right. I feel like that would, you know, if they, that, I feel like at the core of it, they need to really ch- like look at how they approach ads and how they include them on, you know, on the platform. Because again, right. you're going to the streams before you can even look at anything. You know what I'm saying? You get five hour energy. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? You turned off all immediately. Like, God dang, bro. Like people like on a drop ship, drop ship on Apex, they spawn in here. I'm they start to drop I'm ad. Dead. So they drop down the labs ad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, and, and that <laughs> and that might change people's actual, I guess, you know, content layout in terms of where they put ads out. You know what I mean? They can put it every yeah. every fucking two minutes. They'll press the button every two minutes and it might ruin the experience for some people. So that also could skew things. So I feel like how ads are actually implemented in terms of ex- execution and how they look, that plays a big factor Correct. into how, you know, ads, ads are really, you know, taken out and how the rollout is. But our, our requirement, again, for a lot of people, it probably wouldn't be worth it. But for some who average those numbers, it might be. But, you know, for some yeah. of them who aren't hitting, I guess, who yeah, for some of those people who aren't hitting that number requirement in terms of just pure, pure like, you know, concurrent viewers or whatever and, and, and such... It, it might not be worth the opportunity cost to you know spend a whole forty hours to you know drop that you know drop drop right. a whole bunch of hours just to Man. make it happen. All right. I'm saying is if that dude launched completely, people are gonna be like, all right, I gotta go to the bathroom, come back with some <laughs> chicken, come back with a soda. <laughs> They're like, damn, a three minute ad, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> got a whole to the one corner story. Story. <laughs> exactly. Uh-huh. <laughs> when that thing launched globally, it's gonna be Back, crazy. So. Mm-hmm. And like, and an- another issue that kind of segues into our next topic is like what counts as a viewer what counts as a viewer in order to receive that that twitch incentive uh or that ad incentive i should say well, um i don't know did you actually see the the post that i that i, I put? did um i did yeah because that like kind of like shoots that shoots everything in the foot correct the... yeah right so there's um of course a lot of you know there was a a lot of controversy over um a twitch post um mm-hmm. in regards to um host um raids uh viewership and what does viewership mean to twitch um so it was it was worded pretty poorly on twitch's part um that caused a lot of controversy uh, a lot of confusion in regards to what a viewer was um so twitch actually um put out a tweet that pretty much clarified what they were discussing um so we recently made changes to help better detect and remove artificial views from view counts such as third-party sites uh lurkers don't worry we see you we will still include viewers who are watching but many may not be chatting have the same uh have the stream or browser tab muted or may be watching a handful of streams at one time a reminder fake engagement such as view botting or follow for follow and lurk for lurk groups is against our rules participating in or organizing these activities may lead to the suspension of your twitch channel so essentially Twitch just said, lurkers, you're fine. If you mute the tap, you're fine. Um, but this is actually kind of huge uh, because this is going to crack down on a lot of people who are view botting. It's going to crack down on a lot of people. Um, any thoughts on this? <laughs> any guy want to drop some names of people? No, I'm just kidding. Hey, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm listen, kidding, I'm kidding. I will be ashamed <laughs> if I knew people who did this. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. That's, that's, a, that's a, a secondhand shame right there. I'm just like, this I'm glad that they provided clarification on this, honestly. And I'm right. glad that certain things do count. Cause for me, a lot of the time, especially when I'm going throughout my day, I watch a lot of people. I look in a lot of people's yeah. channels just because I I'm generally on the platform a lot. So, you know what I'm saying? Like right. literally today, I was watching Mac talk about sports. You know what I'm saying? I was I was like, I was watching like hella people when Negus came on. I was watching Negus in the cut. I have him on mute though, because either I'm yeah, doing right. work in the middle of my day because I'm literally like at my job. Or, you know, Literally. something's happening or I'm talking to somebody and I can't have it all the way up. So either I put it on the That's very the lowest. That's enjoy my streams anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! silence. <laughs> man, no, nah, man, cut that out, cut that out. But no, no I'm seriously. Not, I'm joking. <laughs> but no, it's, it's like, there's not always, you know, again, going to be a time for me to have this shit full blast, you know what I'm saying? Listen to everybody at the same time. So I'm right. very right. glad about that specific point of if you can mute streams, but you're still watching it and you're like, you know, have it, that view up, it still counts as a view because there's a lot of times where I'm like either working on shit myself, but I have like eight streams in my top monitor. I literally have eight streams back to back to back to back to back, just like watching all of them. So I'm glad that I can still support how I can in my mode and that's not right, mitigated whatsoever. Right. That's that's what I personally you know, picked out of that, that bunch of news. Yeah. yeah. So 
pretty cut and dry. You know, not not really great for us as far as content goes, you know, because controversy brings content. But <laughs> we were able to talk about it regardless. <laughs> and I think that... What Look up? things up. Actually do research. Stop reposting it. <laughs> yeah. The thing about it that I think is really interesting, it brings in, like, it finally kind of answers the question of what, what's a view. Because I feel like that's something that always goes around is, like, well, what counts as a view or people, like, calling Twitch out for things that they feel like they think Twitch is doing that is hurting right. them kind of thing. And like now, if anybody ever asks, oh, they're doing this, that, and the third, it's like, well, this is specifically what they said their official Twitter. Like, I'm happy that they have this because there are certain uh, gray areas that I feel like a lot of streamers operate in because it's a lot of he say, she's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of people just yeah. talking and not really many people are like getting this from the source. It's just like, no, I think this is how that works kind of thing. No, 100% no, right. You. Hundred mm. percent. Um, so I guess we're gonna take a slight break. Uh, yeah, you trip, the trip. Did you did you uh, have something you wanted to share with us, bro? Hey, uh, you know, if you could, uh, you know, what I'm saying direct yourselves to a certain, uh, you know, what I'm saying Twitter, Twitter tweet that was quote now, but a few minutes ago, we can we can get it cracking. So I don't know if you want to put it on your channel. I can drop it in the in the chat if you'd like. Hey. Hello, everybody. It is that man trip from growth here. Just wanted to stop in and share two tools that have been saving my behind as of late when it comes to my content creation process. The first tool actually was something pretty small that helped me claim a lot of time back in my process for emote creation because I was doing a lot of stuff manually. If you look up Twitch emote resizer, it'll take you to a GitHub site that will instantly create resizes for all of the emotes you plan to make a part of your channel. You can select files or just drag and drop and the site will automatically pump out resizes in Twitch recommended dimensions for you to save and upload quicker. Now this is definitely a sleeper time saver going from manually resizing in Microsoft Paint over and over again to something more automatic like this. So I definitely take a look if you want to speed up your emote creation workflow. Now this last tool here, this one hurt my heart. For months, I was in Photoshop just using lasso tools to try and manually carve out all the images I needed for my content. And that took so, so, so long. And the good homie Negus actually suggested a tool that helps me bypass all those steps and basically made me reevaluate my content life. Remove.bg lives up to its moniker. Simply drag and drop or select any picture you have and it'll find the main subject and clear out everything else from the background. What's cool about remove.bg is the erase slash restore features you have once you put your photo in. So basically once you drop that image in, you're able to fine tune and tweak to have whatever specification you want from the images that you put in and download and be ready to put in your content. Be sure to check out remove.bg and the Twitch emote resizer. Make sure you stay blessed and make sure you keep growing. Hey, uh, who was that handsome devil who did that? That's kind of crazy, oh. bro. Oh my gosh, it's wild. <laughs> hey, man, he, 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 I think he knows something. I don't know. I don't know about y'all. I think he knows something. You, <laughs> you, you, you good at this, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Right? Right? Like, really right? Good at this. Like, Put that man on a commercial, <laughs> bro. Seriously, no. Like, Put that man on a commercial. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, that was that was that was smooth though. That was smooth. That removed listen. background is a cheat code. What the hell, bro? Yeah, listen, no, uh, no, 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 listen, man. Uh, we can we can get into we can talk about it. But like, I I'll start I'll start with the emo resizer first. I know for me, like when I started like you know doing the shit when I wanted to start putting emos. Of course, everybody had like their dope stuff. They had the memes and stuff to put in there. I had to figure out, you know, say, oh, how do I even do this? And it was like, uh, yeah. you know, what I'm saying Microsoft Paint, and you just go in there, you know, what I'm saying fit some shit in there, resize it three times, and then you know do all this other stuff, and that will work. And I was like, okay, I guess. And I just went manually because I'm like, I thought there was no other way. I'm seeing this, and I'm like, fuck me. Well, I could have just you know dropped this in there the entire this time and good. just straightened yeah. out my whole process in terms of that speed up so much, you know, uh, of my workflow. So that is that was a godsend for me. I don't know if y'all use anything like this or seen anything like that before, but I know it helps. I, it helps me. Uh, I do something yeah. like that with my uh, animated emotes, but listen, uh, you, animate, you do animated in, uh, emotes. Interesting, interesting, <laughs> mm. very interesting. That is hard. Like we gonna have something for for next month. <laughs> so let's tuck that in um, the back pocket. Put, put it in the tuck for for next pod. Facts. But um, yeah. <laughs> so the last topic we talked about, um, you know, viewership, and we talked about adding incentive. Um, but we have some interesting news uh so youtube recently dropped a tweet um that you know pretty much explained a, a new revolution in streaming low-key when it comes to their own platform so if you if you follow like youtube and streamers on youtube you know that it's 
pretty much kind of difficult to like find your streamers when they go live. So what YouTube did, they literally created a column for for the streamers that go live. So many of you may not realize how big that is when it comes to like um, YouTube U UI. But you know, for me personally, I know I follow everybody in here um, on YouTube. Uh, I know uh, when streams on YouTube, uh, uh, trip streams on there sometimes. Um, I haven't seen Negus stream on YouTube, but in regards to my other people that I do follow, um, it's hard to find them. Completely hard to find them. But this changes everything when it comes to like wanting to stream on YouTube because now you're more visible to your audience, but also just finding the people that you enjoy. Uh, do you guys want to talk about that? Um, so I, go ahead, Wayne. I was this gonna say like you. I so I made the switch to YouTube a minute back. And I'm not going to lie to you, one of the hardest things was getting people to come to the YouTube stream. Um, so much so that I started doing Twitch and YouTube streams, uh, mostly because like I got a, a restream like gifted to me. So I was like, you know, what? I might as well uh, double dip on both sides. But it's not the one of the biggest complaints that I got from streaming on YouTube is two things. One is that like when you make a YouTube account, it's your Google Gmail or whatever. So like your yeah. full name is on the chat things and yeah. nobody wants to put their full name in any kind of like online chat or whatever. Um, and two was, I don't even know when you're streaming because it, it's very weird. It doesn't work the same way as like a video going live. And honestly, it is one of the, the biggest barriers for YouTube streaming is that nobody knows when people are streaming, so they can't find their streamers. This is sick, um, mostly because like they started this, this alongside just having the little icon next to the people that you're subscribed to, having the little live icon. Yeah, right. It changes the games for... For us for the youtube streamers just because it's like now i know nope. now when you go on youtube because i know everybody I'm, I'm pretty sure most people in this day and age use youtube for music and stuff like that now when you log in and you're going to type in lo-fi hip-hop music beats to study to you're like oh wait a second when's live let me go see let me go see what he's doing oh, he's playing elden ring that's going to be super that's gas let me go check that out it is so much easier and i appreciate them like kind of taking the steps towards becoming the next big streaming platform and it's honestly like it's a breath of fresh air. It seems like they're they're listening. It, it shows that they're listening at least. Right. I would say that like the reason why this is big is because one, YouTube doesn't really have like categories. Like you can't. And if it does, it, it like they used to at one point, but then I, I believe it wasn't like it's not a thing now. So the biggest thing about it is like you as a person now. Like if you can drive people to YouTube they will automatically know that you're like online or whatever it is. So say for instance, like if you have a regular upload schedule and you want to stream during your upload schedule, maybe like that won't be the best thing, but it like literally it would be driving people that like, say for instance, like it, your video goes viral. People will be going to your channel. Go ahead, Win. Now let's say that is probably the best thing because when you post a new video, it will pop up on the top on the, the, that little bar or whatever. Yeah. Um, like when you go on YouTube. So it would probably be best if you're going to upload a video go live within like, I want to say 24 hours because it is going to show up on somebody's uh, top list of like, oh, when just dropped the video yesterday. Oh, and he's live right now. Let me go check him out. Yeah, that's it's, it's going to change the times that I upload videos for sure. Like I, I, I was going to say, it's like, I'm probably going to start publishing videos an hour, if not uh, when I go live. Right. Like, yeah. it's just a, a circular like flow of content. Like it just keeps people engaged. Oh, he uploaded. Oh, he's live. Oh, he uploaded. Oh, he's live. And I don't think mm -hmm. people are going to understand how big that is. Like um, you and Negus have been saying. What's up, Trip? You got something to say? Now, I, I, I'm looking at the grand scheme of things. Again, some people may think like, oh, okay, it's a fucking live button. TikTok Ben had that shit. What the fuck? Like, you know, what's, what the shit going to have to do with everything for like, it's not that big. Now, in the grand scheme of things, it's like Twitch is probably here when it comes to user interface features the you know the 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 things that they've set up so far in their app youtube are probably like i was i would say three to four major updates away or major features away from creating a very very competitive landscape a very competitive uh you know system a uh, very competitive environment compared to twitch and it only takes a few like have one like this again creating that uh sense of ecosystem where okay if you're watching a youtube video and you see if they're live you can just click on their button from right there a lot of people from rant from all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Again, these YouTube videos are evergreen. So somebody's going to watch your YouTube video come from recommended, you know, space or whatever from like a random ass time. And they just so happen to see your live. That's a whole unique viewer right there. 
And I feel like that system is more conducive to a lot of discoverability than how Twitch is set up. So Twitch's, you know, Twitch's yeah. VOD system, Twitch's video system, Awful. that's not good. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> so they already are kind of on the back burner when it comes to that. We already know how Twitch's discoverability is. So if YouTube mm -hmm. can really fine tune a lot of these major milestones and points that, you know, again, point back to the creator, wherever they're live, whatever they have this video, you know what I'm saying? Like they, again, create that loop, like, like Charles saying, like everybody else is saying, if they create this loop, that is, you know, again, that brings somebody in from a recommended video, from a search or from outside of the app in and okay, cool. They have this video on live. Oh, you have this, just click on my channel. It's right there. You go from live to video, go from video to live. Right. There's a lot of ways to get people on your side in terms of subscriptions, in terms of catching you in a live stream or whatever. And once they get this down, it's going to be a really, really big step forward considering the size of the app already. You, again, you already know. It's, it's just those couple of steps away. And this is, a, I, I think, a pretty big step towards that. It's not, it's not going to be the biggest one they make, but it's definitely one that's necessary in terms of the smoothing over of the process. You know what I'm saying? They want to make it buttery, a buttery, seamless UI uh, in terms right. of discovering people and interacting with people come from random ass video. So somebody on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Like retweets your shit. That could, that could, you know what I'm saying? Really change it. Say, say like, oh, YouTube gaming, you know what I'm saying? They retweet your video or like they coach you or something like that and say, oh yeah, this channel had this dope video right here. You're like, oh shit, I'm free. I could probably go live right now. And as people are trickling in across the day, you know what I'm saying? That might really boost you because they're seeing you live now. That's the extra piece of content on top of the video they watch. So it's right. a, it's a real, real, you know, I think it, it it's it's a little bit of a sleeper, but it could be a big game changer going forward in terms of I how, how it's it in there. So sleeper. it should. <laughs> so question, quick, quick question: Do uh does live streams go like those views count towards your like you YouTube goals? Yes, towards yeah. your well, monetization and partner. Yeah. So, so essentially, you're doubling your like you're you're do like you're doubling the speed at which you get uh monetized. That's like that's crazy. Like if if they, I watch your YouTube video and then i go straight to your stream essentially you're getting two two views from one person in that day rather than having wait for another video the next day or the next day that's right. huge that's yeah. huge that is massive like what no nah, the reason why i also like like i really like this personally as like you know a new tool if anybody was looking to like you know say like yo where should i be um obviously there's always different parallels with like you know each app but one of the biggest things that youtube has is like its ecosystem of like people that just stay on youtube mm -hmm. like yes. literally just stay on youtube and one of the biggest like problems is like you know people trying to get community your community from like youtube to twitch sometimes and for a lot of people they can look at that situation and be like yo like now it's like a a, a situation where like yo i don't have to and i have everything in house that that drives people to my content what they're looking for so yeah and uh um, i thought it was pretty and, and it's crazy because just think about all the outlets you can use between the uploading shorts and going live you know you got a viral mm -hmm. short that yeah, goes crazy yeah oh, that's, that's you're right you, i'm telling nuts. you it, yeah. it's like and all roads lead back to your your yes. kind of your channel you your know what content. i mean like, yeah. Yeah. And you know Yo. the thing? you remember when the the community tabs was like giving people mass subs and interaction discovery that shit still exists it's community tab is still there you post crazy shit on your community tab people gonna like it it's gonna pop up other people's feet and it's gonna show that you live Come on now, man. Come bro. on now. Twitch I'm got three to four you. years. Twitch I'm got three to four years, bro. I, I don't, three to four wow. years. I don't even think. Please, I don't even think three to four. I'm. I'm giving them. I'm giving them two to three. I'm giving them two to three. Yo. Uh, I niggas. think the Switch on is gonna be something big. But niggas, yeah, go ahead. You remember uh, when Twitch tried to beta the community tab where you can talk like it was like a social media thing, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah they. That, that's initially what YouTube they try to get from YouTube with the community tab. That <laughs> shit. The the way Twitch had that. It was terrible. It, 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 was, it was not it. I think it, was going, it ended up leaving in like two months later, I believe. Yeah, that's been like the biggest problem is that like in-house, like uh, for a lot of people, it, it seems that like unless you're at the top, like they don't spread your stuff. Like, you know, mm -hmm. things aren't going anywhere. Like it's it's kind of weird that like for your Twitch clips, like, you know, you even look at the fact that your Twitch clip can go viral on YouTube. And it's like, so why couldn't it have gone viral on Twitch? Yeah. Like I, I have clips that like, you know, say for instance, where it's like nine or 10 viewers from the people that were in my stream that day, but on TikTok it gets 4,000 views, bro, 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 
Bro. Uh, it doesn't mean mm -hmm. that people aren't looking for me. It means that like it's possibly not going to the right eyes. So like it's going to the void. Twitch clips go to the fucking void. Like mm -hmm. it, who's really searching for vods unless you tell somebody, oh, I did XYZ, just go look at it. Mm -hmm. Twitch clips. You have to tell people to look at your vods. You have to. Reddit. Twitch, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, Twitch really just feels like uh they were one piece of a lot of pieces that it takes to be a content creator and youtube has seen that like wow people need to on a, a twitch streamer you need to take your twitch clips download them and you got to do it a really stupid way of downloading them now too like you got to go to a mm. player hit save video as it's really stupid it's so time bad. consuming it's very dumb so anyways you got to do that then you got to post it on tiktok then you got to post it on twitter then you got to post it on da 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 whereas youtube is like yo what if we just like put all this stuff in like one thing and i think once people it start realizing yeah like once people start realizing how easy YouTube is making it for you because that was one big issue that a lot of people had when they wanted to make the switch or, did, or didn't know what to make the switch like yo, know, getting monetized on YouTube is really tough and it's like yes and no like you're not going to get monetized like an affiliate on on Twitch no it's not gonna be that easy but when I tell you that they give you every tool that you need to succeed it's like Twitch is like here's some bricks build a house it's like well I don't got any cement I don't got any tools oh you got to go get that somewhere else and bring them here YouTube is like we have all the tools for you it's gonna take you a while to build this house, but you have everything you need right here. That's a fact. Yeah, That's for the most part. Wow. For the most part. Mm -hmm. and, I, wow. and I feel like, no, and again, yeah. you put that together beautifully, bro. It's like the Honestly, more the more no, that they seriously. are delving into this stuff, and again, they have people like Fuiz who are like who's been, who's been on both sides. Of it. You have people who have moved over to the YouTube side who are again studying the game. They've been on a, a lot of different you know teams and such. They've been experiencers of you know the streaming scene for a while now, so they're not stupid. It's just, I feel like it's more of a time thing to where they implement more of these changes that we want to see. You know what I'm saying? I seen somebody in the chat was like, what about the emos though? The emos might pull, they pull up. You know what I'm saying? We have the basic emojis now. They're going to be there. They're going to be there. They'll, they'll literally like, you know what I'm saying? Buy a, a Giphy or some shit like that. And they'll go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like they might acquire somebody to drop specific emos Ooh. for some shit. You know what I mean? And then that's a mm -hmm. whole different story. You know what I'm saying? Like there's, they, I feel like they are planning a lot of stuff out, but it's just a matter of time and a matter of, you know, when, not if. So. You know, stuff stuff like this, this only, you know, puts puts me more in position like, yo, man, people got to start, you know, looking out for YouTube, like for real, for real, because before you know it, one more update later, Fuzz going to be tweeting. Niggas like, yo, Twitch, what happened? Where you, what's going on, guys? We got to we gotta formulate something here. So, you know, yeah. good on YouTube yeah. and, and long may it continue, man. Uh, this is this Facts. is a good sign. So that was that was you, you got me excited with the Giphy thing, because if YouTube has Giphy, but YouTube uh, Giphy is owned by Meta Facebook. Oh, unfortunately. Yeah. Hey, another I mean, place. They can get Tenor or something. They can get they can, Tenor right, or some plenty other, others. You know, right. <laughs> there's a bunch of other ones, bro. <laughs> right. I don't know about all that. I'm just saying, if you want a bag. Oh, <laughs> just, bro, 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 but if you could, bro, if YouTube gets GIFs and unrelated to animated emotes and you could just use that without subbing to somebody, bro, everyone's going to flood over to YouTube, bro. I, I mean, feel like. I was gonna say even like even YouTube's version of subbing on Twitch, like you the, the streamer themselves can set the price. Like that's a, that's a control that like is super nuts mm, when you yeah, think about it. Like the the mm -hmm. I as a streamer, I like for example, one one of my main video series is a uh, ga Game Pass Gas or Pass. The reason I made it is because as a bro gamer, I need I like Game Pass because it gives me all the options of what I want to play. Um, being able to set the price for my community, maybe my community can't afford five dollars a month, so I set it at two dollars a month. And would I be taking a hit? Maybe, but I would also be having an entry point for a lot of more other people to join in. I just like just there's just that control that they're giving you that not that you can't find elsewhere. You know, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And that's I, facts. I, that's mm -hmm. the stuff that's gonna pay dividends in the long run, bro. You see how you know what I'm saying there's like a lot of restrictions and shit we have to kind of fight for and things that we believe that should be you know native on a certain experience right now, maybe on the Twitch side. And YouTube might be right. considering that's that might be you know they a real you know swing in the balance that might come out you know in spades once we see YouTube catch up in terms of features and UI because once that's on level playing field we're gonna look at what they offer in terms of you know how we can how we can you know manipulate the app and manipulate the experience to our liking and best benefit our our our, our content in general and you know again things like discoverability some of those some of these things that we always touched on and griped about in in past because you know Twitch is the clearing out leader right now so in, in time in time we will see in time right maybe not for maybe not for longer oh uh, but yeah good 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 talk on that um i definitely learned some things and i definitely gotta get uh my youtube popping um but as far as like you know popping 
Um, and there's, you know, there's always going to be somebody that uh, sees you popping and, you know, doesn't really like it because, you know, mm. they didn't have to, you know, you didn't, you, or you didn't experience, experience the things that they had to experience or uh, you're killing it. Um, and, you know, people got grain, like chips on their shoulders. They got a grain of salt in their eye. Um, so, you know, there's, there's been a lot of stuff and talk on streamer Twitter about certain people who have grown too fast, um, don't know what they're talking about, um, haven't, haven't been here long enough to, you know, really, uh, speak on their experiences. So what, what do you guys think about, like, you know, you know, hating on success, uh, from people that have grown tremendously and quickly, um, rather than the, you know, the slow burn reproach. Um, you guys got any thoughts on that? Oh, I mean, I there's think, a li- there's a know, lot of ways to go. Go ahead, Mac. Start it off. Start it off. Right? There's uh, a lot of ways to go about well, this. You know, I hundred percent feel like you know everybody got their own you know lane to success, and you can't just look at a script and be like, this is how to get successful. You know what I mean? You gotta do some things. You gotta fall in line. You gotta fall in metas and stuff like that. You know, everybody route is not the same route, and uh, it's crazy because. I don't know, because that's just like a topic, you know, it could go either way. You can, people can see the one way and people can see the other way. But I kind of like, in my own lane, when I see something like this, I'm just like, well, they were successful in this. What works for them works for them. You know what I mean? It ain't right. gonna work for me. So I, it's not my thing to talk on it. Mm-hmm. It's none of my business. That's go back to like everybody saying in their own business on, when you're doing this content creation stuff, which nobody seems to mm-hmm. understand. Just stay in your own business. But... <laughs> That's yeah, all I can it, say because that's <laughs> it. Ain't none of my business, man. It, it's it's crazy to me because sometimes I'm just like, yo. For for some people, I feel like they just hate the hate. You know what I'm saying? They'll see a certain thing and just kind of like tip off. So it's like mm-hmm. for a lot of people, niggas be hating on them. But you know what I'm saying? I've seen this a lot. Again, in some threads, of course, the streamers have said this. They voiced this like, yo, once they once they hit partner, shit switches up on people. Like people start hating out of nowhere, mm-hmm. out the blue. And I'm like, I don't want that to happen to, to me at all when I hit that when I hit that mark. You know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah. understand. For I guess for me and how I'm why I don't understand how you know what I'm saying people see one person in their circle, you know, relatively for better or for worse. You know what I'm saying? In their circle, get successful. You know what I'm saying? Get there and not support them or not be there. They want to again skip the jealousy or skip the oh I should have been in that spot instead of him. This that and the third da 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 da. But it's like yo, you don't understand the literal like you know they're doing their own thing. They have their own set of circumstances and, you know, things that they have to deal with and work through to get to that spot. And it's like a lot of people, I, I, especially I've seen as of late in terms of certain conversations with, you know, people getting partnered, people getting certain, you know, accolades and statuses on that side. And then they start hating. And it's like, yo, it's wild because you don't really, you don't really know what they're doing on the day to day to make that happen. So like, how mm-hmm. can you come out your mouth and say, oh yeah, this person shouldn't be a partner. This person should be this. This, per- this, this person shouldn't be that. Mm-hmm. And you, and you ain't, you know what I'm saying? Conjoined to the fucking hip, looking at their stuff every day, looking at their process. Like, yo, I did this, this, and this. I'm up, you know, every day working on that. I, I, I gotta, you know, make this process happen. And it's like, it's wild how people can talk so boldly with no level of insight or, you know, actual verifiable fact about their process and what they do to have success and it, that's the shit that gets me because sometimes people be talking real stern like it's it's complete facts about what they say and hating on other people i'm like bro do you know for sure like do you actually know like did you sit down and have an oprah style interview you know so had a tell all about their whole process of how they got the partner you know what i mean like can you verify the bullshit or not and 99 percent of the time they cannot so it, it, it's just it's just funny to me how it plays out for a lot of people i'm like Watch your own fucking plate, bro, because it's looking real dry if you all if you looking that way, bro. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, God. I'm trying I, it, to hold my tongue. Go ahead. <laughs> no, listen, nigga, we coming no. to you, bro. <laughs> go ahead, Wayne. go ahead, go ahead. It's it's, um, I mean, just in the space of creativity, um, a lot of people, a lot of streamers like to see themselves as artists. Um, I like to think of myself as my content as art, and shit is subjective, right? Uh, all our paths are very different finding your path um for example so i'll just i'll just use myself as an example um i have been streaming actually wow three years in this march this this month um i want to say march is it close it might be fucking close but anyways that's how long i've been doing it so 
I've been doing it for three years. I am at 390 on Twitch. I've been on Twitch for three years, I think. Um, I'm at 390. I have met friends of mine who in a year uh, have hit partner, in a year they've hit 1K, in a year they've done so much. And jealousy takes many different forms. And what you think isn't jealousy might actually just be jealousy in a different like shirt. Um, it's, it bites everybody. It does. But it depends on what you do after it bites you. Uh, that really says something about you as a content creator. I've gotten bitten by jealousy a few times where I'll see like my friends and I'm like, damn, yo, they did that in how much time? And then you start feeling a little insecure because it's like, yo, I've been doing this shit for three years and I ain't even hit 400 yet. What the fuck's going on? But then that's when I sit down and I think to myself, man, this is really a me fucking problem. You know, like fr my friends will hit partner. And if I got a problem, with my friends hit partner, that's my problem. I got to fix that shit for myself and taking that shit out on my friends or doing xyz or whatever that shit don't matter because it you only these badges these symbols only hold about as much weight as you give them because when i started mm -hmm. doing research into getting into twitch and i realized the difference between a partner and an affiliate and i realized that it was just the fact that they could use animated emotes at the time that's when i looked at, at yeah. the time it was just that and that they their vods stay there forever i was like but nobody even fucking watches VOD, so what's really the difference? There's no fucking difference. At, mm. at the end of the day, there really isn't. Um, you want to know the difference? The media kit. That's the only real difference, but I'm going to keep it a mm. stack with you. Some people some people are partners. They don't even got media kits, so it don't even matter to you. Um, shit, I, I don't even have a media kit yet. So, like, it really is what you put into it and how much weight you want to give it. Uh -huh. it's, not, it's not that fucking deep to me personally. At the end of the day, I know what I could do to get that 600 extra followers, the, the, the thousand extra followers. I know what I could do, but I chose this path because it's the path that I like to walk. So yeah. if you don't like that, you're not growing or blowing up or doing whatever, maybe you need to change what you do. But if you don't want to do that, you don't fucking have to. Yo. It's, your, it's your content for a reason. And That's people are going to show up for you. Mm -hmm. That's facts. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tag, I gotta tag myself in on that, man. <laughs> just just a little bit, bro. Because I'm like, again, it's just, Again, you see this all the time. It's like, bruh, like, if you have people around you that are doing successful, bro, push them forward. Push them on. You know what I'm saying? Put that positive energy, yeah. it, more more positive energy on that side into it. Because it's already enough niggas that come out the woodwork trying to hate and shit. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. Hate, there is hate, hate, enough hate, hate, hate. hating ass <laughs> nigga, literally, yeah, like, hating, play a hater's ball. Like, there's enough of them niggas out there. And trust me, they show themselves every single day. You know what I mean? I haven't I haven't ran into 80 haters yet. So I'm not doing it up personally. I know what I'm saying that's a, that's a different <laughs> aside though. I know what I'm saying I gotta I gotta work a little bit hard to get my shit up. But trust me, I'm gonna get there. But like I see it on a lot of different people. Like they just get hated on for no for like for no specific reason, just because they're doing well and stuff. And I'm like, yo, that's 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 a fucking crazy thing. And that only speaks to the fact that other creators, they they aren't they're either they're stagnating, the shit not hot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of stuff wrong with them. But they choose to project that onto people who are doing hot, who are doing big things, who are consistently, you know, raising the bar when it comes to their levels of success. And again, to speak to the point of the of the of like you know the check mark and being partner and stuff like that, I, people have said it before. Ne I know Nika said it before. Dot said it before. So many people said it before, bro. The partnership check, you know what I'm saying? It's not the be all end all. It's not the end of Pokemon, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? There's still shit you got to do after that, bro. You got to finish the Pokédex. You know what I'm saying? Like you, okay, cool. You you beat all the gyms and shit. There's still more stuff to do. There's way more level ups you got to get to. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, putting, putting that on that level. I know for me, you know what I'm saying? Once I get that badge, I'm like, okay, cool. That's a dope step. I love that. Celebrate. Pop champagne. Boom. What's next? Because we got to keep getting up there. Now, you know, for, for whatever people, if you ascribe that to, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that's your final level of success, cool. But I know for me, that's not the be-all, end-all. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, I, I don't like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't like that people put so much weight on it. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm looking at it because at the end of the day, it's just people like you and me. So, you know, their opinion is just as you know valid as the truth that's actually in their statement in the content of what they say, not the fact that they have a badge, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. it's just that shit. And especially uh, just my last point, just to the, uh, you know, again, the jealousy thing, you really got to focus on your process. If you want to be successful at this shit, you really got to look at what you're doing day in, day out, week in, week out. You can't look to the next man, to the next woman, to the next person, to the next streamer creator for whatever. Because they'll they're gonna do their thing because they're on their path. They have their specific set of circumstances, daily activity, habits, motivations that put them on the path to their success or wherever they're finna go. You can't mm -hmm. hop into that because that's not your situation. You literally have to focus. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just 
it's a lot of shit that, that, that could distract you and take you away from the fact that it's your race to run and you have to, you know, put in that work and put your left foot in front of your right every day and do it. But you got to keep focused. You know what I'm saying? Again, like, you know, what? I'll give prime example, bro. Shout, shout out to King. That's my guy right there from the UK. This man blew up like a motherfucker immediately as soon as he stepped on the scene. Like, I probably met him like a year yeah. into me streaming. He blew up like crazy. That's my guy. I'm going to retweet his shit every fucking time because that's my guy. And then we, we probably started like around the same time, but he blew the fuck up. And I'm like, yes, that's what he's supposed to do because he's a fucking killer, bro. Like, he's, like, he's dope as shit. And I'm like, that's dope. And I'm going to still work on my shit because I know at the end of the day, it, when it comes down to it, can I say, hey, yo, can my content stand with this partner streamer and this partner streamer? I want to say yes wholeheartedly. And I will say yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know once I put my heart into this shit for real, for real, and I find the little tools of the trade to make my shit, you know what I'm saying, how I want it to, my content will stand with any fucking body. That's no question. Talk. But it's just the daily step of focusing on your process and literally, like, how can you get better every day? How can you be the best you possibly can be? How can you have your, how can you achieve your vision of success when it comes to this content shit? So it's like, stop looking to your left and to your right. Keep, keep pushing on forward. Don't look at other shit. Facts. So, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Let's go. It's time, baby. One thing I want to talk about with this is like, for a lot of people, they don't understand it. Like, you know, some people will say that, um, it's like, you know, don't pay attention to others, stay in your lane, this, that, the other. Like, uh, I think it was Mark Phillips today was like, you know, everybody has like their own, like their own path. I can't remember exactly what it was, but like, don't people um, please and just, uh, I think, make what you yeah. want or make your, make your own content. Yeah, make your own content. And that's one of the things that, like, I, as I said, one of the biggest people that, like, I listened to when it came down to it is like the Black Okage was one of the people that said, like, yo, stop paying attention to other people and just like get your work done. There's so much space in this, like, you know, content like you know bubble that you can really just make anything work um and one of the things i've noticed especially with twitch and i think it's a it, it's it's a bigger issue on twitch because you can start hating because of the fact that you're in the same categories like a lot of people even if you are a variety streamer like say for instance a lot of you guys play apex right so like if you're sitting in a care category like a lot of times you're looking at like you have you have the people that like you know obviously you're getting a little bit less views than others and then you might have been the same place as somebody else. So say, for instance, me and Mac are playing Splatoon, right? I have 30 viewers. Mac has 30 viewers. And I'm like, yo, me and him are around the same point. And then you're like, yo, one day, like what a lot of people start seeing is they start seeing like, yo, Mac has now 100 viewers. Like, what, did he, what is he doing differently than I'm, uh, that I'm doing? And a lot of people don't see the full picture of it. And like right. a lot of the times, it's not the fact that like you may not be doing, be doing anything wrong. It might be the fact that Mac decided to start posting more on Twitter. Mac decided to start uploading on YouTube. Mac deci decided to, you know, like start developing his community and op like, you know, actually building with like the people that he has in his Discord servers and stuff like that. So what I find weird about it is that it's never like usually like people that are you're like it like not close to it's people that are like right next to you that just start like out of nowhere that you thought were like at least like what is the word um not like, friends but like uh, uh, acquaintances, uh, acquaintances or of a similar mindset where it's like yeah, yeah. you know so that's what it, what it is like you'll have yeah. people like even for say for instance where you'll have people openly saying like yo why did this person get partnered like i should have been there like you know I, I do this for for this i do that for the other my name is like you know for this and i've just noticed it over time that like especially for content creation like there's so many lanes there's so many paths and like a lot of people don't realize that um it may not just not be your time and that's really all it is like say for instance for a lot of people i tell people like you know the people that like i brought in for growth i look at every one of these people and i say like yo holy shit everybody here is like you know genuinely like good at something like it's not just one aspect that everybody that's in this group chat is like good at like there's so many different things so like if like one day like you know say for instance trip blows up I'm gonna be like, yo, like, yo, that's one of the guys that like I was working with, like, I was trying to like, you know, help him out. I was trying to get like, yo, like, stuff like that. And even if, say, for instance, like, Trip never, like, you know, like, he he doesn't host me or raid me, like, whatever. Like, at the end of the day, like, I, I'm like, you know, whatever. But like, say, for instance, like, the support can be like, yo, they like your post, they retweet it, they show their communities, they they maybe they watch your video in in like in their streams. And like a lot of people, like it's it's really like like close friendships that just be spiraling out because of the fact of the concept of where you're supposed to be. And I also think that like a lot of people with content creation still think that this is luck. Like 
I feel like yeah. that, that that form of there is a little bit of luck with everything in life. Fine. But you can say that. But I feel like a lot of people, especially for streaming, a lot of people don't realize that the amount of work that you have to put in to even yeah. get like, you know, growth or like any type of like, like, you know, following. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. Like the, you don't know the the hours that somebody was putting in to like, you know, make add, add adjustments to their streams. You don't know the hours that somebody was putting in to like, you know, edit a video that like, you know, was super funny. So I I would tell people like, you know, especially for the Twitch world, like start putting blinders on. Like one of the things that you should be doing is like you maybe start looking at your analytics, but just start looking at like how your community is responding how people are responding to like what you're talking about are you doing anything new are you streaming too much and like causing yourself to burn out and like not being able to like you know grow so one of the things i've been looking at is being like a full content creator and that can be anything for twitch streaming and that could be like streaming less making more like you know guided content and i'm gonna stop because i can i can go on about this for for days but no, keep, yeah. going, keep, okay. going, keep going keep going talk, no, no, keep talk going, a little bit no i want i want a little keep bit going. more please before i jump in but keep i will going. say that before you jump back in i will say this again people might say it's luck but luck is often defined as when you know opportunity meets preparation so they forgot the formula in that shit you know what i'm saying so like yeah. it's a mm -hmm. lot of people working busting their ass you know what I'm saying? In this call alone, you know what I'm saying? In this room alone, busting their ass all behind the scenes, y'all don't even see it. And then they get on stream and do what they do. You know what I'm saying? So when yeah. when when shit comes their way and I, like some something that's great, you don't know how much, you know what I'm saying, they had to build just to get to that level to oh reach this thing. You know what I'm saying? To reach this branch in this 60 foot high tree. We've been building this ladder for like like, you know what I'm saying, how many months now? You know what I'm saying? So people don't see that, you know what I'm saying? They just see the other side of the fence where I'm grabbing the shit, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody's grabbing that shit at that at that level. So, you know, it's it's very easy to fall into the trap of comparing and comparison is a thief of joy. So if you're in this game and you're in it for the long haul to really try and succeed, you really, really, really got to focus on your process, making your process as seamless and as effective as possible, growing your following, focusing on the people that rock with you. Whether you know, what I'm saying, especially, the, again, the audience that comes in, how to grow that, how to, you know, cultivate that into something that you want to see. And, you know, that's that's how you move forward, man. That's that's how I've seen it done. That's how all the, you know, the great people in this space do it. That's how, that's how everything I've been studying so far from watching it from years ago to seeing it now. That's how it's being done, you know, in the way I would want, I would want it to. So it's got to follow that format, man. Follow that format. Like, yeah, a lot of people, good. even like what you're saying, like a lot of people don't understand. Like, yeah, it could be luck. But like, what are you going to do when you get that big grade? When you get are, you the just luck. Gonna, are you just going to sit there and like, you know, stream like normal? Or do you have bro. something ready to like, like direct people bro. to like who level. you are? Mm -hmm. Like even go ahead, when even TikTok, like a lot of people like think that. I feel like with the rise of TikTok and how crazy people can just go viral randomly, um, a lot of people think like, oh, it's just luck. You got hit with a, a crazy TikTok and that shit went up. If you see like a lot of the big TikTokers or the people who are like influencer now and making money off the shit, um, when they when they got that viral video. They posted three day, three times a day, every single day, and they grew that shit. They took that shit and ran with it. I blew yeah. up. I had 500k follow. I had 500k views on one video, and my ass fumbled that bag. And I don't ever look back on it as like a, as a like, damn, I could have been, I could have been fucking successful. I could have been doing the, the renegade, and I would have been killing. I would have been making <laughs> mad money. But it's, uh, uh, I think of it as like a learning experience of like, yo, you see, I wasn't ready for the success at this point in time because I mm. mean, I had this funny ass concept. It took me like. 30 tries to make it. I did the video. People loved it. And then I let that shit go. I was like, I'm gonna let this shit keep. I'm just let this shit keep racking up views and I'm just keep streaming. I'm gonna focus on something else. And that's where you fuck up. So yeah. it's it it is luck. But I promise you, I promise you, if you cannot, if you can't, when they when that luck strikes, if you're not ready for that opportunity. It is what it is, bro. Just work on yourself for right now. You know, it, it ain't she weren't for she wasn't for you, King. Like you just got to keep on moving. Hit the gym. Really? Like, it is what it is. Yeah. That, like, what you That's said about factual. the gym is the perfect, is the perfect, Literally. is a perfect like, example. Because you got to like, get those reps in. You, get you those have reps to in. get the reps in. Like, it, it really is. That's really what it is. Like, you, you know, there's so much, like, guided content out there that you should really, like, especially if somebody is your friend and succeeding. Like, you should be looking at them and being like, yo, what can I get from their journey and, like, add it to my content? Like, I, I just never, I, it just blows my mind that, like, Bro. people don't realize that. that like, yo, crazy. just look at it and be like, yo, like, what can I do that I have somebody that's close to me that's popping off? 
what are they doing right like you know what's the crazy thing is uh, and just bring another concept of this i know a lot of you guys don't watch ninja i know you guys don't watch courage i know you guys don't watch what? um uh <laughs> cypher pk i'm not gonna lie to you i am the i am the i i got into twitch streaming in 2016 and the mm, reason i got into true. it was because of smash but i became yeah. one of the basic bitches of streaming and i started mm. watching ninja and i started wa like I, I i genuinely did like i i was like yo this like it's actually i actually found fortnite entertaining mm -hmm. so when yeah. i watch like like i still watch ninja now actually as the um, hand and everything i feel <laughs> so but like the funny thing is if you ever watch ninja courage and like you know cypher all they're doing in their streams because they're at a point where nobody cares like what they talk about or what they do they can right. literally sit there and talk about farts for two hours and like oh take my money but whatever <laughs> but like what they do is it's funny they'll be like yo ninja did you uh think about doing this idea for youtube now yo courage will be like yo the algorithm for youtube is changing you need to start doing this that and the third and there's talking about that on streaming and i'm just like yo i've ne like i was i put out a tweet today about the fact that like yo we need to see more black creators like you know actually collabing and working, working together. together because there's no other way like we can't do this by ourselves and like you know <laughs> go ahead you know what's funny um you remember the uh, i know y'all saw the um the filter with a uh, horizon that cleo posted mm -hmm. yeah. um i literally i literally saw six other people use that within the span of three days like and that's not even like that wasn't even her like her 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 friend group that was people that just watch her yeah and, like just copy like just giving out information so it's like just imagine what we can do if we just all work together like share out ideas off of each other and you know negus we've got a, a common uh friend that we tell like to share information all the time uh they're doing it now thankfully <laughs> but like it's just like there's so much information and so much space out here that we all can eat that oh. we all can use and we're not taking advantage of the resources the resources that we have in each other not just knowledge but just like just learning you know what i mean yeah. like there's Smash. so much i've learned from just being in in like us creating the stream team growth from from Negus, from mac from k dot from trip from win from cray from ace like everybody has given me something and I'm I'm moving forward, and I can see the growth, like not to not you know not to use a play on uh, words, but like I, I, that's just I, the way I, it works. <laughs> hey, I did it, uh, but um, <laughs> bro, just there's so much information and experience just to gain from watching others and learning and collaborating with others. That, bro, you don't have to do this by yourself. You really don't, and that's what a lot of people are are like not understanding in this space. You can you can work with people and grow like. You don't have to be a crab in a barrel fighting for your life. Like, bro, we can make a link chain and get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, Facts. honestly. Facts. That's, like, that's all I was going to say on it, but. Literally, it's like, yo, information, yeah. information is free. It don't make no sense to hide some free shit. Why would you hide some free shit that everybody can use? It's how you execute it that makes you different. Don't right. feel like, you know what I'm saying, you have to hoard this shit like it's like, you know what I'm saying, the Lord of the Rings ring and shit. You got my precious. You can't, you don't need to do that shit. Bro, it's literally just out there for people. And if you, again, spread it, you don't know who right. could benefit from that. Honestly, it's it's literally so much more net benefit if you actually sharing that information rather than hiding that from the world, to be real. It's like, yeah. who, fuck, who fucking cares how you use it? I just want to know the general tool so I can, you know, pimp it to my style. I, that's, that's really it. You know what I mean? Like, again, like the, the thing we did earlier with the tools, like, again... Some people didn't know about remove.bg. Some people didn't know about the Twitch emote remover. You know what I'm saying? Or right. Twitch resizer, mm -hmm. the emote resizer. I know I didn't before, you know, the last couple of weeks. So seeing that, you know, put into practice, literally some people commented under it like it was super helpful. Like, again, shout out, shout out to Emp. Like, literally, Emp Ninjas. Like, literally, he, he was like, yo, bro, I did not know about it either. I was in photo P, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to, like, make, sure, make some shit happen. And he was like, yeah, I stopped yeah. that. And if it can help just one person like that, that makes a world of a difference. So you do, you're doing the streamer world, especially all all the all the black streamers out here who are you know, again just just get into it, not knowing everything. It's doing them a lot more good than bad. You know, what I'm saying sharing this again. The more we can exchange, the more we all can grow. There's a spots for all of us to eat. So why not Facts. why not why not spread it around, man? Spreads the wealth, please. Facts. Yeah, and it's like um, it's like not a million, but it's definitely a lot of people in the same content creation spaces as us. Whether you are a streamer. Or just yeah. YouTube or Facebook, we all come into the same ideas at some point. You know what I mean? It right. might look different. You can't just hate on somebody because it, it's something with the same. 
I mean, we all we all get an idea and we either have it written down, but it don't necessarily mean that person who end up doing the idea copied it off of you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I've, I, you know, I, I've seen things like that before where somebody will have an idea and then, you know, the idea will probably look like it's the same idea as the other person, but it's not. Mm-hmm. The exact, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, nah. it's just a matter you gotta get things out if mm-hmm. you don't. That's you not shooting, this, right. shooting the shot before somebody else shoot it too. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's also a fact. I I have seen some cases where like somebody has like a real specific idea and that shit got like you know what I'm saying like taken out. Right? I have seen the, like one or two examples yeah, now, have, like in years past. I'm like, yeah. that's why. <laughs> but that's not this. But that's not this. I'm we're just talking about yeah. tools and again things to make yeah. general streamer knowledge more like I guess more again make you more knowledgeable about the space. Because if you're going in blind, there's so much shit that you have to learn and get under your belt from, again, algorithm changes. Like, again, like the, the aesthetics from thumbnails and your channel and After Effects right. and what tools mm-hmm. to use. And I didn't even know about Canva. I'm just starting getting into Canva because of how easy it is to use. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting mm-hmm. to apply Very that to, to this space now. So there's so much stuff that you have to, again, ha- have under your belt. Literally, Batman utility belt. Like, there's so much shit that you got to put in there. You don't even know what's that what, what it is. So having right. somebody who is knowledgeable on certain stuff, it, 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 again, it makes the world of a difference. Something like a little share like that, a little drop on Twitter, like, hey, y'all know about this? Like, y'all know this was a thing? Yeah. Some people could really have their whole fucking world turned around. That makes their content that much better. So, you know, if you're making yep. the streamer space, a, you know, say a better place, please do. If you have, if you have any capacity to do it, do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And fuck haters. I just want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck haters. Right, um, I wait, you about to say something, Mac? Or oh no, I was laughing. No. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I'm not too versed on the next. All right, uh, I got you. I topic. got you. I got you. I got yeah. you. I got you. So yeah, so if you guys didn't know, um, basically I was baffled by the fact that there's actually something that people can vote on on Twitch, and Twitch for some reason hasn't like. Put it out there like that I, and i don't know why but did you guys know about like twitch user voice like at all like about the fact like mac you know everything so stop shaking your head <laughs> but, like, I'm dead. I'm dead. Did, did you like genuinely like did anybody else besides mac because he actually knows twitch but like <laughs> you guys like know that there's an actual like feedback and suggestion forum that like i i know at the height of like pay um the split that they were trying to get more people to like to use this because i remember that was like the biggest time this was out there but right. it's like su- such an interesting like you know little like tidbit about the twitch like user voice so like if you guys haven't checked it out before i'll tell you guys to check it out um it is something that probably more people need to actually like or like bigger streamers really need to get us to get behind and try to like vote for certain things for like even just like um the the, the split because the split needs to change like it, there's some like they, they they definitely make enough money by now but like like it really needs to change so it can work for the rest of us but like what did you guys think about this oh hey. my goodness i love twitch i love that i love that uh user voice it's so many crazy and good ideas on there as far as it even like past the channel the, the split stuff people talk about how can we use channel points? Give us access to give channel points to people and remove channel points people instead of them out adding it, you know, getting channel points on like a minute or hourly basis, you know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That that should be a feature. It's been like add more suggestion on polls instead of giving us four, give us like five or more suggestions or polls and things like that. It's so many things like it, it, it's amazing. Extension ideas. It's people who even put extensions on there like a little like a github of their extension but twitch didn't you know give them api usage for it or something like that it's it's so many things on there even chat ideas and 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 other features that they can bring on i'm pretty sure i did see one talking about a gif little email like a gif library where you can find gifts and just upload them and like it's so many ideas but yeah i'll pass so next <laughs> i was gonna i was gonna say a uh, really i mean I, I i i should probably check in and see about doing the ideas but like i was gonna say like even if they made a live one of the biggest issues i had as a streamer when i got channel points was figuring out what the fuck to do with them and i feel like that's a big ass problem with a lot of streamers they don't really know what to do mm-hmm. even if you had like a public library of like this is what blah 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 is doing with their, their thing and like you could just easily like add it like click and it'll just add it directly into somebody's chat or whatever um also for anybody who's viewing this who does like twitch news or twitch anything in your streams or in your content 
I would highly recommend you post that link when you're talking about it because that is a great way of like getting the community involved. It's something that I'm gonna start doing whenever I'm talking about things is like promoting it because if we don't use it, they're not gonna use it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the more we use it, right. the more it, we could actually have a voice on this platform because it could easily just take this away and say, oh, nobody was using it. But if we talk about it, it can become a real big uh, important thing in the ecosystem. Right. Not just talk about it, but use it as well. Yes. Because talk, yeah. talk, talk, talking about it will only do so much. But like, yeah. Action right. speaks louder than words. So, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, it like, does. Like, it's yeah. the ideal here is like enable bits to purchase for subs. Like, use your bits to buy subs. That's game changer. That's mm -hmm. good. And some people, some people don't, you uh, know, some people have more time bits than they got like $5 mm -hmm. in their pocket. They have like 50,000 bits than like rather than $5. I've been people, seeing people in my chat, they're like, oh, well, I ain't got. I ain't got the money for a sub right now, but I can eat bits. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't know how, but sh go okay. ahead. Mm -hmm. like, go. <laughs> right. Hey, I, I was in the bucket of people who was like, what the fuck is this? Um, so, <laughs> And I was really baffled when I was like, okay, so they actually have a consistent forum to where they just drop shit. I'm like, wow, I'm, I feel yeah. a little bit dumb, but also the fact that like half of the streamer now is getting locked away in the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Highest high of a tower and shit. Like the, I'm about to say like Prince Fiona and Shrek and shit, but whatever. Now that we have this information in front of us, it's I feel like now the onus is on us to really put this shit everywhere and mobilize on a lot of these topics. Again, on the Twitch play, pay split, on a lot of these topics that I'm seeing uh, in Twitch user voice, we need to mobilize now. We need to make sure mm. everybody knows about this for one. And two, when we see some causes that are really, really impactful, again, namely the Twitch Black split. Black History Month. Like history month, let's talk about that. You know what I'm saying? There was a, a, a video talking about that today on Charles' channel. And <laughs> don't want to, you know what I'm saying? If you want to plug that right now, Charles, you can do it. Uh, it's just literal, like, there's so many important causes that, and important things that are getting seen that we didn't even know had like a, 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 a channel, you know what I'm saying? A, an actual process that goes through where Twitch can see it are, are, are actually preferential to actually seeing more of it now. So I'm like, okay, With that being said, we need to get everybody on this. Everybody, any mother needs to know about Twitch user voice from now. And then once that's popping, we need to make sure we lock in on these topics and make sure Twitch sees it. We need to make sure they see. We can't just say like, oh, that's cool. And just leave it be for the rest of the time. You know what I mean? Now is the perfect time to move in on this. Everybody needs to know. Everybody needs to see it. And everybody needs to be able to move on this ASAP. Correct. Facts. All right, uh, that was good. That was good. Uh, let's see what we what we got next. <laughs> oh, interesting. So we got a, a real juicy topic next. Maybe. Um, <laughs> you know, um, there there are people that you know get affiliate links. Uh, you know that think they're gonna, um, you know, blow up because they're associated with a certain company. Um, uh, people say they're gonna get. They think they're gonna get certain incentives. I don't know, like a PC or something like that. Um, but I'm sure everyone has seen the Artisan Builds uh, fiasco. Um, there was a streamer um, that, you know, uh, got pretty much destroyed on Artisan Builds stream. Uh, she was one of their affiliates. No, she was an ambassador. Um, ambassador. ambassador. That's what they she was call an it. ambassador. An ambassador. She was an ambassador. And so essentially that's their affiliate, right? So what happened was um, the CEO of Artisan Builds literally destroyed her on their stream uh, because her growth was less than a follower a stream. Um, and she was entirely too small to actually uh, worth a, a PC. Um, so did you guys, you guys saw that, correct? Uh, that whole fiasco? <laughs> oh, you know oh, we all saw Boy, boy, did oh, I. Yeah. Oh, boy, yeah. did Ooh, I. Let's... <laughs> oh, let's, let's, let's start it off. What's, what's going on, Trip? What's going on, Trip? <laughs> it's funny man it's funny bro oh my goodness it's just like when people get in a certain position they be forgetting like yo pepper's farm remembers yeah. some shit bro yeah you don't don't man. forget right and this this what happens when you don't treat motherfuckers right in the first place because when this one little thing yep. pops up that's when the next person like hey yo bro i remember yep. when you was fucking me over too what's going on with this and you yep. you've literally just you know all the little bad seeds that you've planted they've all come to sprout and then it's a fucking rap for you, dog. So, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They was calling, bro, Walmart Star-Lord and shit. I was like, dang, bro. Yeah. I, like, that's that's crazy. They was getting this man to fuck up out of there, bro. <laughs> Listen, they, Artesian Bills lost how many thousands of followers 
off off one off one rip. They lost thousands of followers. At least ten k. At least ten k followers lost yeah, on Twitter. Like, when I first che- when I first what? checked it when I checked it today it was like ten k down. Let, let me in facts. Let's run, let's run through this bit. They they lost they lost hella subs- hella um, followers on Twitter. I'm assuming again elsewhere on other social platforms they lost a lot of followers as well. Um, like so many of their like ambassadors and creators who are like pretty big. Like I, I saw a tweet from the first ambassador that they had. He was like, yeah. I'm I'm done. I'm out of here. I can't support what y'all are doing. So many ambassadors that of their current program left. Cut ties. They're done. Yep. It's so much brand value lost in this because they were getting it and they were getting tomatoes thrown at them on the timeline nonstop. They had, you know what I'm saying, a letter dropped out, then they had a video. They were still getting booed to all hell. They were saying, get out the whole, get out the whole state. We don't even want you on the internet. Get up out of here, bro. And on top of that. They are now being investigated for tax evasion because the yep. state, oh, is it the state of California is now catching them That's out because they was avoiding their, their their taxes. Is, Look, their business is suspended. Is is what is uh, shown in the in that one video? I can't remember who made who posted it. From from the from the high towers of you know shitting on your own ambassadors for not having what, what a certain a certain I guess view CCV you know count for your alleged program to for get giveaway. The, for for a giveaway, bruh. All the way down to you losing business and you avoiding Bro. taxes and getting audited by federal bodies. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like federal bodies, federal entities. It's a it's a slippery slope down, boy. But Bro. you know what I'm saying? You earned it. You earned it, man. And let let that serve as a warning to all the BS, you know what I'm saying? All the BS, you know, affiliate companies and people with affiliate programs that's predatory like this. And then they have all these, you know, shoddy people running these programs that are just again not looking at the content creator for what they can offer in terms of you know their their community their content yep. the drive they can mm-hmm. to actually create an inclusive <laughs> you know an inclusive and fruitful partnership between them two instead of just looking at a fucking ccv count let that serve a right. very stern warning if you keep going on like that it's not you know what I'm saying it's not going to end up like that forever somebody's going to eventually call that shit out and you're going to get caught up and then you're going to lose everything off that bro trust me Trust me. Yeah. Look at that. Look look yeah. how qu- look how quickly that happened. In the space of three like two, three days, they was gone. Bro. They was hey. out of there, bro. And I, I love it. For tax invasion? Bro, bro, that's the wild part. Bro, bro. somebody bro. called they dead. No. Again, again, they, they got, they they was got the everything. They, was they the got fence. taken to the yeah, cleaner. It's and again, California they, too. It's California. That's and you the would worst think, thing for the And you would think <laughs> if they would have just shut the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? Or at least None acted on the right side of this. You know what I'm saying, bro? Okay, can I just <laughs> can I read it? Can I, can, I'm gonna read oh a tweet my, from oh from the victim. Um, her name her name is Kia Pia. Uh, this is a tweet from yesterday. I had 150 followers yesterday, and now I have 7k. <laughs> she has 17k now. By the way, I think it's uh, above bro, 17k. Insane. It's going. That's insane. Bro. In addition to her getting a new PC from another sponsor, um, just she a random a perk. Uh, she has a new sponsor now. There's another person that said they're going to give her another PC. That's mm-hmm. three people that I've seen that's going to give her a PC. That's three. Yep. That doesn't even include the subs she got. That doesn't include the dono she got, the bits that she got, the follow. Like, bro, she ate all because this mug couldn't shut up. Shut up, All, bro. He, had, like, all he had to do was shut up. All he had like, to do was not say anything. Like, just stop talking. <laughs> hey. what's, so, what's so insane about the whole thing um, and that's something that everybody should really understand too, no matter the size of the creator, that this dude is not the first or the last or the only person who's talked shit about <clears throat> their own ambassadors. Man, oh, and, no. it, and what what he will say, this may never happen again. We may never see somebody blatantly disrespect this, but you guys, you guys gotta understand that this is how a lot of these motherfuckers be thinking look sometimes. They see you as a number and a name. That's how they look at you as a number. And yeah. that's that's and that's messed up. But again, that's how a lot of these companies are set up, bro. And I and I I've seen it from people who have talked about it. I've seen it with people who have gone through the you know what I'm saying the worst of it. We've even seen again a prime example. I, I Goofy Wise was tweeting about the same brand about Artesian. He was like, bro, bro. They said not yes. one tenth of my shit. One tenth is too like you know what I'm saying like, bro. He he got hit with the the fraction the fractional denial. And then he was like, yeah, like bro. these niggas acting real shifty, bro. And it's so widespread. One tenth, dog, bro. One tenth. I I know he was talking about. They said another fraction. When was one of us yesterday? Like, what? How much was it again? 
what the 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 yeah, one his total number. would be so so i was talking with my boy about it we did the numbers uh goofy wise has 12k followers on twitch we were just using followers as an example he has 12k yeah. followers on twitch he would need 120k followers to just get two thousand dollars and a pc from them once it wasn't Bro. i don't know i don't know what he discussed in the in the dm from my understanding it was just a one-time payment of 2k and a pc and they said you're not one-tenth of what we Bro, if I have 120k followers or viewers or whatever the fuck, bro, you're not giving me 2k in a PC to fucking to, to sell bro. artesian or artists, whatever the fuck your shit is, bro. I need you to get out of that 2x jacket and I need you to fucking <laughs> see the light, bro. Cause ain't no way you're gonna sit here and disrespect me, bro. I Facts. promise you. You need to line them O's up, bro. Uh, Cause there ain't no way I made, I ain't no way I got that bro. big of a following and no money behind nah, that deal. Know, Hell no. You know it's crazy, like the fact that he's calling out people and somebody like they like it, you know, it always happens. People read the book on them. There's two things about this. One like the first one was like somebody was like, yo, you're like your engagement is like they were like point zero like what point like one percent or point one zero percent on like for artesian builds because like they were like, yo, you guys have no engagement on your twitter like there's none and i was like bro like they're really calling you out right now bro. like that's the truth like when was saying it the other day about the fact that like yo if you just do pc giveaways of course you're gonna have like you know yeah. 50 million people subbing to you or right. um, following you yeah right and short lived it's, it's, a, like, it's like fad trend quick you know what i'm saying literally like they're yeah. gonna follow you for that but they're not gonna follow for anything else they're not gonna stay with you because you're actually you know what i'm saying like an engaging they're brand. they're give it away they're, PCs, they're bro. Gleam, they're gleam twitter yeah. give me my 3090 <laughs> like i'm also i'm and i'm gonna i'm gonna say this too maybe a little controversial i'm not naming any names but they're not the only people who get a lot of engagement out of doing shit like tag blah 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 mm. give away here hey shout out your favorite person so we could send them shit I promise you, they not sending mm. shit when they said they sending shit. Mm. I promise you. So be aware. Dang, I don't wanna. You, you're, you might get used, yeah, and that's just sit, what it is. Let me you sit gotta, on that you gotta be aware chair real quick. Hmm. Mm. Like, like it's, it's, it is what it is. Like I'm sorry, because like, I, like I said before, what we all need to take away from this for all the creators, uh, big and small. They are, they are not the only company. They are not the first. They will for sure as fuck not be the last. And no. you should be very well aware. Right, and if you're, not getting anything ahead, that, if you're not getting anything that's going to benefit you out of the whole thing, if you're not getting a game, some money, uh, something, to, something like, you know, like a mouse or a phone case to promote them that they're giving you, if that's their product, if, if you know, like if Apple was to be like, hey, all right, sure, you get an affiliate code, but we're not gonna see you shit. I'm like, nigga, send me some AirPods or something. Send me a little fax, bro. That's a you fact. Know I mean? You hit it on the head, though. Like, done. <laughs> Mac, when I was like, bro, I was like, wait, 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 wait. Your ambassadors are waiting to receive a giveaway for a PC. So, bruh, like, bruh. how do you Give sell this products. to your community? First of all, nobody's talking about this because mm -hmm. I want to say, like, like, don't get me wrong, it's 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 a messed up situation, but like. They don't even send you a t-shirt to be like, yo, Artesian Bills, like, you should get Facts. one. Like, and I, I saw a couple people have it, and I'm like, bro, they didn't, you haven't received anything? Dog, I have Control Freak. <laughs> control Freak, yeah, out. This is, like, not even all of it. Out the wild. Yeah. Like, I, 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 as I said, I can, like, I can, like, do, like, a Control Freak giveaway if I want to, and, like, they've let me try out all of their products. They're like, yo, you need to try it out for you to, like, to that's the thing. That you want to use it. So how are yes. you telling people to use yes. a PC? That's that you ain't even giving out, you bro. You ain't even, like, and they don't have it, bro. Literally, that, and you gotta like, read. You gotta read. You gotta read the specs. Like I think it's good. It's got a twenty eighty. It's got a. It's got a Ryzen five. These I niggas think it's good. These niggas really said sources do trust me, bro. Hey, tr hey it's gonna work. It's gonna work. I believe. Bro, like just think about it. Think about it. If you were like in the United, like think about it. You're like you're you're meeting with the represent an ambassador from France. I tweeted this. Think about it. You're meeting an ambassador of France. Homeboy shows up just in sweats and you're like who are you i'm the ambassador for france and it's like okay you ain't got no french flag on you you ain't got where's your office at i don't got an office they didn't give me an office um all right cool um do you you got any you got anything from france no nah, they, they ain't give me shit from france i'm like all right cool do so you why? speak french no nah. not, not not even like oui, oui. Just oui, oui. Have, you been, have, have you been to france now nah, they won't let me in all right, cool. <laughs> how are you? How are you the ambassador to France? I peep this, homie. If you go to France and you say, 
my name is Randy. And you say Randy enough times, they might send me a ticket, bro. And then we go be bro. cooking. Like I got, so I got to fly to France before you can fly to France. When? That's fucking you know the crazy. crazy. You know the craziest thing? The ambassador, <laughs> the ambassador is probably one tenth French. That's the reason like, why it's a bullshit too. Like, <laughs> one tenth French. Can't, you can't call somebody an ambassador that ain't never been the where the fuck you's at. Like, this doesn't make oh. sense, bro. You're they're just fans. They're just fans with promo codes. That's that's all Facts. they are, bro. Oh my Facts. god, I'm Facts. dead, bro. That's a fact, though. And it's like you gotta people don't try before they buy when it comes to stuff like that bro like you're not you i'm not becoming a walking billboard for you unless you give me the products to actually try and see if it's worth it like that, that makes no <laughs> sense bro they literally bro well bro like yo there's no way there's no way dead. in the hell i'm actually going to again sign some type of exclusivity or whatever i'm tied to whatever deal this is in these predatory predatory practices like you know what i'm saying at minimum send me something Send me something tangible for me to get back in value. Like, there's no way I'm going to, again, write that off. But again, it's, it's predatory. So a lot of people who are just looking for a come up and, you know what I'm saying, looking for, oh, this might be a break for me. This might be a dope brand to work with. They get caught in the trap. And it's like, it, it's right. tough for some, but you got to, you know what I'm saying? It's real. It's like, start, you got to know your worth, man. got to know your worth. These, these motherfuckers ain't here to, you know what I'm saying, really put you on and build a long last relationship. They want that, that extra money at their at they pocket. And you might be able to come up just on that. Think about the just the situation in and of itself. Motherfuckers wanted shit back from a giveaway. Bro. The fucking name of the fucking event is a giveaway, and they say, "Well, what can you do for us?" That's how a lot of motherfuckers see these nah, giveaways. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, they was like, if you sign enough, you got to give away something to us, bro. You know That's the way they looked it's, at it. The math is not mathing, bro. Like it, it's it actually I really, really not. I, I'm That's I'm just insane. again I just found it very very funny that they were just again so confident in talking about that on stream and then it just came back around so so quickly but again that just speaks to the to the to the major lessons of of this cautionary tale one learn when to shut the fuck up and two just value yourself Va know your worth and don't get caught in the traps of these you know some of these bullshit companies and these affiliate programs I know I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? I've been tempted before. You know what I'm saying? Like like a year and a half ago, probably when I seen some shit pop, I'm like, oh, I might. I said, like, I got I got warm before, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting caught in that, yeah. bro. Unless unless some unless some dinero and some prize, you know what I'm saying, attached to it, I'm not touching none of that stuff, bro. My the, the proper the proper relationship will come to actually build something. I feel like when you get that thing, you know, again, Nikas, you can probably ascribe to this. Mac, you can ascribe to this. Like when you see a partnership that's you know it feels right, you'll know the difference. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> I have my fair share of signing up for shit. I'm like, bruh, I'm dead. And I, and I told y'all, I was like, you know, I signed up for it. I'm like, oh yeah, let me try it out, you know. But then it was like they didn't, they didn't want to send nothing out, and I'm like, and I thought about it like after like a month having that, I looked at, I'm like, yo, and I was just on stream, and I was just transparent about it on stream. I'm like, y'all. To be honest, I don't even think I want to work with these people no more. I'm sending an email and everything after stream, but I'm like, don't use my code or nothing like that because it's not even me. I'm doing something that's out of character. You know, you mm -hmm. feel me? I'm doing that's something that's out of character. Thing. I want to do something that's for me. That that this something don't fit me. You know what I mean? I don't want. I want y'all drinking some shit. I ain't gonna drink. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't mm -hmm. care how much they you know want to pay me or whatever they are gonna give me for that. If I <laughs> if I had a certain amount of codes, I want to do what's gonna benefit you because the shit benefits me. If this mouse pad is fire and it's and it's good and I'm doing cranking nineties or three sixty whatever the fuck, I'm like yeah, go get that shit because I'm cranking them shits too because I'm bad at video games so I know you be going with it you know what I mean yeah. something like that. And I mean I did get a DM from Artesian whatever heck is artisan Artesian I I got a DM from them talking about a mouse you, you, you selling computers and you want to give me two percent of a computer that's five thousand dollars or four thousand dollars and all you want to give me is a mouse pad and a T-shirt to wipe my ass with what am I supposed you know, <laughs> mouse how am I supposed to, you know what I mean. What I'm gonna do with a mouse pad? I'm gonna I don't do know about the PC with this mouse pad. Hey, this mouse oh, pad like, fire though. Send, bro. Me, send me a fan or something. Send me a computer fan or a goddamn RAM stick that glow up or some shit. Like I'm don't give me that. You know what I mean, bro? Before, uh, like as I said, before Control Freak, um, you know, even hit me up about like you know trying to like you know give me a code or whatever it was, they let me try everything. Like I'm, I'm not even joking. Like just everything. Like I use it even now to this day. Um. And I, it's like not even a joke. Like when it comes to like playing Splatoon, I actually genuinely like it. Um, and I think that's like something that a lot of people don't look at 
like yeah it may not be like the craziest deal in the world but like you know say for instance for me i look at it the fact that i've been they've been able to like even just give stuff to the back to my community that i've done like they've done like helped me with like a couple of the giveaways that i've done so it's like at the end of the day like i'm like yo it helps me with like you know getting stuff out there and actually doing something but if they these if they're not doing anything for you that's kind of wild but i also have like or like i'm able to like at least speak to somebody so that i know what i'm doing and like a lot of people i sat on that for like a while and i like read through it i asked my wife like yo is this a good idea like what do you think i talked to multiple other people they were like yo like that seems solid like that's like the standard and i was like all right cool and for like splatoon it makes sense like a lot of people are selling pcs to their com if uh, let me just be honest to you all right unless you have a major following and i'm not talking about 100 followers i mean um viewers not even talking about 500 i'm not even talking a thousand the people that are selling pcs are probably in like you know that nick Merckx range that like that like ninja range where they like people actually believe like yo maybe if i get nin the same pc ninja has i might play like him and like those are really the people that like that that are that are being marketed to because at the end of the day like i i feel like most people like you're probably better off building your own pc and telling your community members like yo if you want to get a pc probably you should probably build your own you'll probably be able to like get a lot of, a better rate and things like that so but that's just me. Hey, yeah. I, I, was, I was about to say, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to say, like, uh, jumping off of, like, like that and what Max said, it's just, like, at the end of, like, you need to understand your worth and you need to understand um, who's willing to work with you, right? Yeah. Don't, if you can't get fucking whoever build, fucking one easy builds to give you a free PC, <laughs> bro, then don't work with, don't work with one easy builds. Don't, that's not you. Don't do shit for free unless it's something you want to do. So if I make a game review on my channel for a game I'm looking forward to, like I, I am looking forward to Kirby. Nintendo doesn't have to reach out to me. They know I am a slut for Kirby. I will get that shit fucking day one. No problem. They don't have to give me a damn thing. Like I'll buy that shit and I'll rep that shit to the fucking day I die. But like, for example, a game, a game company that's out of my range, something that I don't want to do, don't do that shit for fucking free. I got hit up by um, clothing brands and they're like, yo, we would love for you to have an affiliate code since you're a streamer. Da, 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 da. There was only one ever clothing brand that I wanted to work with. I applied for an affiliate code only because I was going to use it for when I bought shit because I wanted the 10% discount <laughs> and they never <laughs> hit me back up. And now they sell NFT hoodies. So that shit is ass. So I'm happy I dodged that bullet. But it's just things like that. Like if it's something that's your brand and you want to take the hit, like, you know, I do really want to work with um konami with Yu-Gi-Oh cards or whatever and you know what maybe i'll just do the fucking affiliate code for right now because i want to be able to say i am an ambassador for konami because it fits my brand then do right. you but do not at any point in time step outside of your comfort zone or outside of your your pay range or your value to work with people just because they have somebody else attached to it because i promise you if they're not reaching out with a opportunity like here's a game code here is a t-shirt. Like literally there's so many basic, simple shit. There's, you can go to these companies right now. You can go to some of these companies right now and go, go on a tour and they will give you free swag. You're not even, you're just somebody who showed up at the door and they're like, hey, you know what, bro? Hey, here's right. a cozy for your shit. If they, if they can't send you postage of some fucking phone case, guess what? You don't need to work with them because you're less than somebody who just walked in the door to them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling next you. Next time, also next time, Charles, we can set this up, but like um, for you to have a share screen and everything like that, we probably should have showed the video. So basically, um, if you if anybody in the chat's asking, I feel like a lot of people know this already, but basically they had a giveaway. It was a giveaway stream. The just like this, it was like, you know, somebody in chat we were giving a giveaway to the guy was like, yo, look at your like, you don't even have like, you know, the the right viewership that we're looking for. And they were saying like, yo, we're not going to give you this PC. Let's go to somebody else. And then you won the giveaway and then it, they just decided to say f you and that's really in the it. video at the bottom left corner you see the name of the winner that's yeah. what's mm -hmm. so fucking hilarious the winner's name is right there oh, like there. they cannot deny it they they got drawn they got picked and then the motherfucker said hey yo let's 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 review like <laughs> review these nuts here's my fucking <laughs> this is, address this is, this is this and this is their ambassador this, this is, is your bad, ambassador. Bro. Someone it's that's already been chosen. Like, it's not like against something. 
It's, it's surprising. Uh, some, some, oh yeah. Then somebody did call him out. Like it was like um, against some type of um policy for an actual like uh sweepstakes or some type of actual giveaway. Yes. Like that. Yeah. It's against. It's against that. It's against those rules that you actually can't change participants who actually won like in the middle of the thing. That's actually the thing. So I was getting them for. So they might get and hit I'm with not, that too. I'm not saying anything, but in the video I saw, because their business is suspended, they're not allowed to appear in court until they pay their. Uh, until they pay their taxes or whatever. So Ooh. if they were to take them to court for that right now, they wouldn't be able to fight it. I'm not going to lie. But you can hear uh, that from me, and I am definitely hey, not a fucking al lawyer. I hey, wouldn't well, alleg and, and allegedly, if you have a PC that you haven't paid for, allegedly, because they can't do business, allegedly, you don't have to pay them. Allegedly. Hey, to the, you know what I'm saying, to the six we're people. Lawyers. We're not lawyers. To the, to the six <laughs> people, you know what I'm saying, that. to the six people that got artesian PCs right now, you know what I'm saying? They, you, 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 you might actually need to, you know what I'm saying, check your emails because they're probably gonna ask for it back. They need to sell some parts, you know what I'm saying, get some money together. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be, no, it's gonna be bro, real bro, trendy. Bro, bro, time. I don't just don't people, answer. I don't think you understand how people were going. Like, so whatever, what, what happens with these type of situations? I don't think you understand how hard people are going at them. I think Intel even put out a um, a statement <laughs> because what happens is people I go just after that. your your um your suppliers. Because they definitely get them for like a, a probably like a price cut. And I was just like, yo, people are no! going in. Yes, no! yes, yes. Bro, I'm not even that's lie to you. tough. I just it's saw tough. it too. They leave it, oh, they leave it up like the end of training day, bro. You can't do this to me. <laughs> All the suppliers are around. I'm like, Intel and shit. Intel and Vinny is walking away I, like, I, I man, whatever, here. bro. Artesian, no, we, don't, we don't even know Artesian, bro. Get that shit out of here, bro. Kick I'm not going to lie to you. When I first... When I first heard Artesian build, I swear to God, I'm like, oh, is this somebody who does like charcuterie boards? Is this what Bro. we're doing right now? Is this what's going on? I love me a charcuterie board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Oh my gosh. Bro, listen, rest in piss bozo. I'm not going to lie. Y'all had a rough run. And uh, you know what I'm saying? You probably didn't make it as far as you should. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. I'm telling you, man. That's. That's rough, man. But hey, listen, again, let that be a lesson. Treat your creators, ambassadors, whatever you want to call them correctly. And this issue wouldn't even have happened. You know what I'm saying? So we're probably not going to be hearing much of that again, like Wen said, because all these brands are going to start tightening it up. Like, hey, oh, sh shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing on the channel. Or, they, they or, going, or <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you hate your ambassadors, shut the fuck up. Yeah, don't, shut don't the fuck up. up. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. I don't even know why these these PC building companies even have streams. To be honest, I don't I don't know why he's streaming. Um, I would have just given my ambassador the giveaway to you know boost my ambassador's numbers. I'd have been like, hey, we're gonna blah 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 hosting a PC giveaway that we're gonna give to another ambassador. That would have just been the smart thing to do. But hey, my number's open if y'all need some consultations on uh, ways to grow pre to grow the brand. They can't pay you. They can't pay you. Don't oh, they even can't ask pay for me. That. Right? They don't can't even do business. They can't. They can't. Damn, bro. They don't have a PR team either. Also, that's another that's big crazy. fucking red flag. Really Why the fuck? Fact. Don't brag. I, we don't have a PR team. Clearly. That's a, that's a red flag. Right? That's a big red that. flag. That's a big I can red tell. Flag. I can tell, bro. <laughs> we were never sitting there like, wow, this PR team is really working hard on these fucking weird spaced fucking tweets that weren't even in a proper thread. My guy, come on, son. Mm -mm. Hey, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 I didn't know that's it. <laughs> hey, 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 win is tight, bro. Win is oh tight. God, bro. <laughs> Yo, make sure y'all follow when, when you do, bro. Like, <laughs> that came from the solar plexus, bro. That was so like, serious. This shit is so, this shit is so oh, stupid, oh, bro. Oh, my gosh. My insides hurt. Oh. <laughs> no, when, bro? You're so you're too you're too fucking funny, man. Yo, no. nah, you actually are too funny, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man, yeah, that's that that's really that's really it, bro. Like, yo, make sure you pay attention. Like, I I I, I think the question does have to come up of like who's really worse. Like, you know, at the end of the day, like, yeah, he's a shitty individual, but like, a lot of people fell for a scam. So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, a, but but here. You, ah, but here's the thing though. If you make everything sound beautiful, of course everything's gonna. You know, people are gonna believe that. Like, I don't think you can con completely blame the person that failed for it, because it's like, bro, if you're, if you're, she, she, like she said, she had 150 followers. So when you have a company that wants to work with you, you're like, oh, this is my shot. Sure, she's probably kind of naive, 
but at the same time, you're more of the scumbag because you know better. Like you're yeah. you know better. You're a I, scumbag. I, I will say this. Again, this goes into the previous topic. Not everybody is operating on the same knowledge base as the next person. So me okay, see all fine, me see me fine. seeing all of these different threads. Check you me. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm listen, I'm I am i am gonna come back around, but listen, listen, hold on. So I'm I've seen all these threads about the affiliate marketing, all these all these brand partnerships where they went wrong, went left. I've heard stories, I've seen people's per- first hand accounts. I'm like, oh shit. I'm not touching any of that. I'm looking out until the deal's right for me. Cool. I'm operating with that. A lot of people, especially who are smaller creators, are jumping into it, you know what I'm saying, in like, in like my bracket and shit, just breaking into the game, right. not really looking anywhere for a specific, I guess, news on the industry or a specific, you know, streamer information. They're just streaming. They don't really notice stuff. You know what I'm saying? They're not noticing that, like, or, or, or dealing with that, that information because it's new or they haven't experienced it yet. So there's going to be like, a lot of people who sign up with Artesian, that's like their first deal with like a, a brand. That's their first affiliate marketing partnership and, and whatever. So that's them having their first experience. And again, it all be, it's probably going to be a bad one. That's their introduction instead of them actually getting that knowledge from somebody else who went through it beforehand. And then, oh, we're armed with that. So we're going to dodge it. So for a lot of people, they might have been bamboozled by the lack of information that they were sitting on. So that could be the case. Now, again, there is, again, the, the, the glimmer in the eyes of uh, uh, an opportunity that probably pushed them motivational wise to actually take the deal instead of maybe looking into it a bit more thoroughly, seeing what they had on tap, seeing, you know, different parts of it. Research is an important thing. I know for me, yeah. I would I want to research the brands I'm working with. So if there's any you know, shady shit going on and what's the, what's the deal, I got to thoroughly, thoroughly check that shit out before I clear it. In my opinion, that's that's just that's just me. Could be other people, you know what I'm saying? But for some, they could, you know, fell into that trap on their own motivations, whatever. But I feel like the knowledge base holds a little bit more weight in terms of their decision making uh, for for you know going to a place like Artesian for their 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 uh, affiliate shit. I think right. it's it's one of those like I I fully agree. I think that because of the lack of knowledge, and I think that honestly, it kind of not even just falls on like the person for not doing the research or the company for being predatory. I think it falls on like a, a kind of even just the space uh, that we we like just like streamer Twitter will have arguments about fucking really dumb shit. But saying shit like, hey, watch out for brands that are just trying to use you. Like, we won't we won't sit there and harp and people won't sit there and be like, hey. And it's mostly because a lot of motherfuckers ain't trying to lose the partnerships that they have or they don't want to seem like somebody who's hard to work with because we want to give free shit too. I would mm. love to give free shit. Um, but it's also one of those things of, like, educating your community and letting people know, like, yo, like, this is a perfect example. And this should be, like, every time somebody in your community or... Or like just not even for streamers, but even just for your friends. Or like if you're watching a streamer who's just starting out, warn them about these kinds of things. Like we, this needs to be something that everybody's aware of. Because it's like, I understand like, I because when I first saw it, I was like, why would you sign up for this? But then like seeing how all this shit turned out, I'm like, shit, that's gas. Like good for you. It's just like, we have to, we have to be more vocal. But also it's tough because a lot, some people don't, I don't want to talk shit about like, if I would have known about the Artesian builds thing, and I wanted a free PC, it, it would have been a conflict of interest because it's like, damn, I want this free PC and I know that I could probably get it. But like, I know that there's a lot of people who are going to be on the bottom of this totem pole. So you got to make the moral decision. Me personally, I'm going to tell people straight up, yo, if they're not giving you shit, don't do shit for them. You know, if you were already going to do a review for for uh, Sifu or whatever game and like that was already your plan and they were like, yo, we would love for um, you to like add us or whatever the fuck or just something small. Sure, whatever. You were already going to do that. Just take it. You just got to have some common sense and make decisions not based on what you want, but what if it's going to actually benefit you. Like you got to sit there and you got to do the research. You mm. got to like, you got to, you got to do due you diligence, take the man. precautions. Yeah. You got to be careful. That's a fact. Right. Now, I will say there are, you know what I'm saying? Again, those, those few people who like, and, they they just again blindly trot in and say, "Oh, this is my path to stardom, baby." You know what I'm saying? With no recollection of anything. And for that, and then if they even if even worse, if they hear a warning about certain brands or whatever, or just in general, and they still do that to think that's they come up, that's that's 100 percent your fault. That's on them. If you get a warning or anything, yeah. that's your fault. And again, I am sure that there are more than enough of those people out there. On them, shit out of luck, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Our teaching just went flop. I don't think you're getting. You know what I'm saying? Your your whole build. I'm sorry. The, the RGB shit is not happening for you today, big fella. But again, just do do diligence. You, you, you just got the R's. You got the R. Niggas gave you a flashlight talking about, yeah, man, you got to make that work, bro. You got to make that work. But listen, <laughs> do your research, do your due diligence, especially when it comes to brands when you get to that state. And I know for me, 
it's like seeking knowledge. So I'm glad I'm in the spot that I am because I have, you know, again, I have OGs, I have, I have Negus, I have K Dot, I have Mac, I have people who've dealt with these partnerships, I have more experience in that, you know, before me. So if I know when I get to that point, I have people I can go to directly. Be like, hey, yo, listen, I'm I'm looking at this. You know what I'm saying? You have an experience looking at, you know, this type of thing. <laughs> and even then, if you don't know anybody directly, reach out. There's a lot of people out here that who are more than willing to talk about those things because it's their personal experience. And they would be, again, more than happy to share that. So seek the information that you want, man. Seek it before you 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 make any decisions. Right. Actually. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. With that. That's that's it, man. I think that's when can, you do, can, you, can you do the hug huh thing one more time? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> that that shit was, was hilarious. He was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to spit on the mic. <laughs> uh, uh. Artesian. Uh. I am dead. All right, y'all.